Hello there, my name is Michael, and Drakensang, The River of Time, is the second in the Drakensang series based on the German D&D analog called The Dark Eye. And I believe that it is the fifth game made with The Dark Eye, if we exclude uh, the multiplayer-only Drakensang online. And... Uh, you know, the, the Dark Eye has unfortunately not got the same treatment as D&D has, because D&D has had a lot more than five games. Uh, and there was a huge gap of time from the early 90s when the original Realms of Arcania trilogy came out, and the first Drakensang game came out in 2008. If you have ever played Neverwinter Nights 2, you probably are going to uh, realize how similar this is to that. It seems like almost an exact template copy of Neverwinter Nights 2, to be honest. The characters, the movement, the look, the feel, the zooming in and out, even the uh, wheel down here for how you're for using items and spells and abilities, it all looks almost identical to that. This is actually, I should warn people, not the beginning of the game like it has been with most of my other Let's Plays. This is actually fairly late, I think. I haven't beaten the game, so I don't know exactly where it is, but it seems like more towards the second half of the game than uh, than the beginning. So obviously there may be spoilers, and I know people may not like that, so that's just a warning uh, for people. And um, as you can see, my character here <clears throat> excuse me, is Corvus. He is a, a Sylvan Elf Spellweaver. I really wanted to play an elf this time, um, but when I chose the class, or archetype as they call them in the Dark Eye, I didn't quite understand um, what was uh, the exact D&D &D analog would be of this character. I assumed it was just sort of a generic mage, but as far as I can tell, based on my skills with healing with uh, chatting with animals, with summoning an animal companion, with the spell A Helpful Paw. There's a uh, black bear who's helping us out right now. There's the, there's the, the black bear. I believe this is more of a druid-esque character, I would say, than, a, uh, than sort of an arcane mage. His damage capability is not spectacular, but he does have like a healing, cure poison, uh, and sleep and petrification skills, that sort of thing. Which is, you know, it's not exactly what I was going for. I don't usually play druids, I don't necessarily like them very much, but I, I leaned into it and I said, you know what, I'm going to go out of my comfort zone and play a druid. I, I don't do that very often. And uh, I have been sort of a nice, friendly sort of druid who's been, you know, loving the animals for the uh, trees and the birds and the dolphins <laughs> yeah. and the flowers. But, you know, maybe he's like an epic badass druid, for all I know. He could be just an incredibly tough, brutal druid, an evil druid, like in the song Druid by the band, heavy metal band Sleep. There actually is a character in this who is an evil character, uh, who is an evil druid. I, I think his name is Thor Guz. But, so, you know, there are evil druids in this world. But anyway... Um, he is obviously, you know, not that well equipped with arms and armor. He's not really very good with uh, physical attacks. I did give him the combat ability to use a bleeding attack, which allows him to get a little bit of extra damage in combat. But I've only really upgraded his daggers. He could technically use axes, maces, sabers, fencing weapons, staves. I think he can learn spears and bows if I wanted him to. But I decided not to bother. You know, I'm focused mainly on the spells over here. Uh, our party consists, uh, besides my sort of uh, wizardy, druidy type character, of Kano, the thief, who's sort of a dashing swashbuckler kind of ne'er do well sort of thief, who's very good at um, haggling human nature, which is sort of like it helps with persuasion checks and also fast talk, which is another persuasion check, uh, and picking locks and traps, obviously, because he's a thief. And he's very good at fencing weapons, which is like thrusting, you know, epées and rapiers and that kind of thing. I suppose I could have got him some other stuff, but I decided to go, you know, go with the, the sort of stereotypical swashbuckler type guy. I didn't really upgrade many of his um, combat abilities, though. I think he can use 
some of the yeah, like blade barrier windmill master parry i i i guess i could have got bleeding i don't even know what berserk is what is that overcome my wild frenzy uh yeah well that's not that much um i think he does have some weird um abilities because of his worship of fex and fex is the god of thieves and roguery the fox god and uh our fighter class over here is rounded out by Forgrim, who is a very stereotypical, straightforward, you know, I like my axe and I don't like elves, and I'm a stubborn, hard-headed kind of person, dwarf guy who's using axes. You know, pretty standard. Um, pretty straightforward there. It's it's very, and I'll get into this more with the story later, but it's, it's very just copy-paste from... The Lord of the Rings type dwarves, which, you know, I guess is fine. That's not a big deal, but it's, it's nothing thrilling. It's kind of a yawn. Um, and our next fighter guy is Ardo, who is a human, and he's, he's using two-handed swords right now. Not as strong as I wanted him to be, but whatever. Uh, there was another character we had for a while, a, a half-elven ranger named Faerus, but she was mainly an archer at first, and I just sort of, I left her on the boat to try this guy out, so that's whatever. Uh, the story of River of Time has to do with uh, riverine pirates. And if you know anything about the Holy Roman Empire and the huge profusion of waterways stretching across Germany and the Low Countries, uh, then you'll know that that's a big part of medieval and early modern German history. It's the water traffic uh, creating trade and jobs and thus piracy and war and uh, trans, uh, transporting of ideas all along the river routes of Germany. So I think that really fits in with the dark eye setting uh, here. And um, we're tracking down pirates, and there's also something to do with a wizard, and the there's an emperor of, uh, of this area, you know, like the Holy Roman Emperor. It's not like a king, like in Britain or France. Some more, you know, Germany stuff there. Um, as you can see, the upgrade system, I wanted to point this out, is very odd in the Dark Eye setting, because as you can see here, we can basically, you know, our leveling points are like experience points, and we can basically level up whenever we want on the fly. I think even during combat I was able to level up, although I'll check that later. And I don't know if I necessarily like this system, because it doesn't give you a clear set value for how much health you have or what you can do with your stats. You can see stats here are really hard to level up. They cost hundreds of points. And it just feels like I'm hanging on to my experience points all the time, just waiting for a moment when I realize story-wise I can use them. So I just level it up here and then move on. I don't have to adapt what I already have to the situation that I'm in. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's nitpicky. But anyway, we are currently in a Dwarven mine, and once again, um, uh, as per tradition, the Dwarves have delved too deep into the mine, and there is demonic energy running around, and the Dwarves are being corrupted by the demonic energy and trying to hurt people, yada yada. You basically know it's the same, it's the Moria story. And... Um, And, you know, you've, you've, you can basically just... If you've seen The Lord of the Rings, you know what's what's going to happen right here. Uh, you know, there there's some sort of demonic force. Uh, I don't know if it's exactly like a Balrog we're going to find out, but it's making the dwarves go nuts. These rock goblins, I think, are highly resistant to physical attacks, which is not good for my party here. Because I'm not really a big... Not very good at damage outlays. We're going to be doing a lot of reloading, by the way. I'm playing just on normal mode, but I don't think my character is... Oh, there he goes. Good. He's dead. Wonderful. I don't think my character is spectacularly strong here. I probably should have recast my uh, basic um, defense spell there. Jeez, we're barely doing any damage here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reload, actually. And, uh, I mean, I do have this lightning... This Thunderbolt attack, which is not bad, but it's not not spectacular. I, that's another thing about the magic in this game. It really doesn't feel like the Dungeons & Dragons style that I like, where you are um, you do become an epic 
god of spell slinging by the end of the game if you're playing as a uh, a mage whereas the, this is much more spells are kind of more weak and mundane unfortunately at least that's the way i feel it oh god my rogue is about to die already i probably can't save him but i'm trying to use a uh, healing potion here if i have one yes i do the inventory management in this game and the original dragon saying is horrid like, it's, it's absolutely awful. And to be completely honest, it was actually pretty bad in the, uh, in Neverwinter Nights 2. It actually was better in Neverwinter Nights 1, but, well, whatever. Has been disrupted. I don't know. My spell's disrupted. It was punched by a goblin. Uh, darn it. Out of magic points. I also run out of magic points really fast. Like, ridiculously fast. It generally seems to be the best to gather everyone up to fight, to gang up on the main character at the, uh, at the same time. But that can actually be kind of difficult because the combat in this game, I, I'm not in love with it. And there's similar combat in a way um, in Realms of Arcania, at least with little of it I've experienced. But magic will damage these guys, but physical, they're just, it's like, it's like punching rock. You're, you're not really capable of doing much at all and i don't have any magic potions because they they were really stingy with these magic potions jeez like, like super stingy and i you know i've been engaged in uh, a lot of alchemy too because i'm a druid so i've been collecting tons of plants but i just found it really expensive to try to get some of this stuff here let's go ahead and move out of the way the game is um the combat's pause and play, and I'm not really thrilled about the combat, the combat like this in general, where we have, um, it feels like sort of a mix of real-time and turn-based with none of the, uh, without really the, um, the kineticism of action combat or the skill involved in um, turn-based combat. It's sort of like this weird half-measure that does both wrong. But, I mean, I, I you know, I'm, I'm not hating it or anything. I am basically addicted, more or less, to um, RPG games, so I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play it. I'm having fun. I'm liking this. But this battle is really hard. It's been much, much harder than the last couple of battles I've been facing. I'm struggling to stay alive here. We also have this dwarven character called Prince Aram, who is uh, sort of a... He's an NPC. He's not part of the party, and he will run around and help us, but he's not, um, he's not directly controllable. Even though we can click on him like that, we can't actually tell him exactly what to do but he's pretty good at you know figuring it out so it's not not horrible i don't know if we're going to be able to defeat that stone golem to be honest that guy is ferocious although my bear is apparently really uh doing a pretty good job uh, fighting him uh, actually before doing that let's finish off the weak guys uh, my mana is so low or astral energy as they call it I'm just gonna have to wait I wonder, if, I wonder if I can bandage... Can I bandage people in combat? I feel like I'm not able to do that. I don't really think I can tell the black bear exactly what to do either. But he came over here to attack this guy. Maybe I can. But um, back what I was saying about the combat. Um, there's a lot more emphasis on parrying in this game than there is in D&D. &D. Like every attack and parry role that we're doing here um, is important. Whereas in D&D, you probably can just work on smacking and slashing an enemy and not really worry about doing that parrying stuff unless you're a swashbuckler or um, a uh, maybe a rogue who's using a, a dagger or a rapier or something like that. Maybe we can use attrition to get this golem down, but I'm kind of worried about this fight. I want to I want to finish this rock goblin off, but I want to save up also to summon another bear to help us in case this guy perishes. Okay, here it is, the big the big test, fighting the stone golem. 
many years ago, through his own Wait, is he treachery. Dead? There. Yes, I will. You have earned it. This passage leads to the heart of the delving. That's where the unholy metal is. It is alive and immeasurably evil. Legends say that it was brought into the world by the archdemon Agramoth himself. Torlosh and I fought there. I was able to withstand the call of the unholy metal, but Torlosh wanted to bring it to the surface. He wanted to use it to forge powerful weapons to use against our enemies. Oh, such folly. When I told him that I would never allow it, he attacked me. He was full of rage, and the whisperings of the metal seemed to make him stronger. We fought for almost two hours, and I couldn't kill him. It took me to the surface. I saw Torlosh below, smashing at the machinery, his face filled with hate. I managed to jump out just before the whole thing came crashing down and buried Torlosh. I left the delving full of despair and rage. With a couple of well-placed blows, I collapsed a couple of supports and blocked the entrance to Norgamashram. I went to Avarosh and vowed that I would punish him if he ever looked for the forbidden delving again. I told my father that Torlosh died a hero's death. I could not tell him the truth to this day. I understand your pain. Let us end this thing. How did the golem die? Because he had like over 75% of his health left. Did he just drop dead when the last rock goblin died? I don't know what happened there. Okay, well, whatever. Guess I shouldn't look a gift crit in the mouth, so to speak. Uh, gemstones, shot. We are actually overloaded with junk right now because I was planning on leaving this area and going to a big city to offload all of my stuff and do a big shopping spree. But we were suddenly called back to the mine uh, at the last second. So I was like, oh my god, we gotta go and we gotta go there now. And I didn't, I didn't feel like doing my shopping here. I wanted to do it in another, uh, a bigger city with more shops. So, oh well. Uh, like Neverwinter Nights 2, this game also includes... Ooh, spiders. Um, ooh, spiders. I have tons of cure poison tea, but um, if we're all poisoned at once, that's not going to help that much. Okay, uh, attack everybody. And so I have like a ton of junk. No, oh, my spell failed. Crap. I'm not exactly sure how um, spell failure works in this game either. If it's like, um, if you can get, I don't know if there's like a combat casting feat. Like you could get in, um, gonna have to waste my time healing my rogue. He doesn't have very good armor because, you know, I mean, he's a rogue, but. I mean, he has pretty good dodging, which I, I'm guessing, I hope, affects, uh, oh boy, somebody's poisoned. Okay, it's gone. He has pretty good dodging, which I was assuming helps in combat like this, but I don't know. It kind of kind of feels like maybe it doesn't. My treat poison skill, I'm basically just administering him tea. You can also um, uh, skin animals, but I, I, I leveled up our ranger in the ability to skill animals, and since I'm not using her anymore... We don't really have that ability. I haven't found that much of a use for uh, skinned animal stuff. There's a very, very big, elaborate crafting system in this game. And if there's two things that I hate about an RPG game, and they're probably the only two things, to be honest, you know, even more so than grinding, which I can, you know, I can deal with, is um, harvesting plants and crafting which seem to be ubiquitous throughout basically all RPG systems now. And I don't know if it's because people actually enjoy it. I don't know if it's because it's a cynical choice by the developers to try to extend the amount of time you're playing the game. Even even the latest Souls game, Elden Ring, has, has a gathering herbs and plants and crafting in it again. And I was like, oh my god, I thought at least, at least the Souls series would not have this. 
this is actually one of the best missions we've been on uh, in this game. There, there's a heck of a lot. The Hylalian Fire will collapse the delving. We'll only have enough time to get out of here. Have you finished yet? Then let us finish it. But we should hurry. Okay, I, I will, I'm going to look down that other direction where we didn't go. Because I assumed this was a, a tiny side area, not the main area. Um, but, uh, but there's, you kind of need in this game to have someone who picks plants, sort of like in The Witcher. You, you, it's, it's virtually required in order to survive because your potions are very expensive if you're not actually making them. And honestly, even making the potions takes a long time. There's a lot of effort and energy you have to put into this. You have to get like 10 berries to make a special potion called a one berry potion and it's sort of like your early healing magic and the actual healing potions which are much bigger and more complicated are even more co complex to create oh, i missed a lot of stuff here like right now i'm just gathering basically garbage like most of this stuff here is not useful it's just hopefully in theory in the future i am able to um create uh, useful items from this trash. Like, I'm, I'm gathering, like, rusty, broken nails to beat into metal scraps in order to, to make into stuff, but... Oh, well, I mean, I guess I guess some people like it. Please, please let me know if you actually enjoy um, the... Are we... Did we come from this way? I don't think we came from this way. Some barrels and chests still open up, but other ones, they, like... They get possessed by rage and just destroy. And it's like, what, why don't you just open them all up? I, I know it's kind of fun, I guess, to destroy them, but... This doesn't feel like the way we came from. Hmm. I want to gather this fire moss stuff, because that seems kind of useful in alchemical... Uh, reagents. I mean, at, at least it's not like in uh, the old Ultima games, where you had to use... Um, you had to use reagents just to cast spells. That was very complicated. And would have been uh, difficult to to include, I think. Not impossible, but sort of an annoyance. Yeah, this, this isn't the way we came. This is weird. I swear this is the way we came from, but I guess it isn't. We were just another area. Okay, well, whatever. I like that the game just calls uh, uh, tre these treasure trusts treasure chests hidden treasure like just straight up that's what it refers it to uh that's that's a that's a hammer that's going to get us a lot and there's a lot of good stuff here the crafting items can be sold i think some of them can be sold for quite a bit of money but it's probably better to craft it one nuisance that i thought seems like a very serious oversight is that for some reason or another when you get a crafting recipe, you can't. I don't think you can actually look at the stats of the item you're going to craft before you craft it. So it's just going to say, like, Elven Spear or something like that, but you don't really know what its damage output is. So it's kind of a, a gamble <laughs> to to craft. Oh, this, this must be the way. Yeah, this is the way we came from. Okay. And I don't think there's anything down there. I'm kind of assuming there's a big uh, demon that's going to attack us when we try to blow up the, the Hell Iron. This area in the original mission we played was guarded by a Leprechaun. And uh, once we defeated the Leprechaun by answering his riddles, uh, I, I think we had the chance to warn the dwarves about... Um, oh, this is nothing. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, whatever. We had a chance to warn the dwarves about their delving and say we shouldn't go in there. But I didn't even bother trying to do it because they were annoying me and I didn't care if they if they went out and killed themselves because I assumed the quest was over and that was going to be that. So maybe I could have actually prevented all this by maybe passing a speech check and telling them not to come here, but I, I, I doubt it. This game isn't huge into personal choice most of the time. Uh, usually you could try to go in another direction than the game wants you to, but it just forces you back onto the, the same path. 
Like, I tried to go with a more chaotic route with this character because he's an elf. Uh, when it came to saving or rescuing the, um, uh, the Emperor's crown and restoring the legitimacy of his rule, which is basically what we're doing here. Um, okay, there we go. I've seen some demon-possessed boys in my day, and that guy is demon-possessed. Okay, I'm going to try to use my debilitation spells on him. Haven't been super effective, but I'm going to try anyway. This heavy arm spell, plum boom arm heavy arm, reduces attack strength, and lightning find you uh, will reduce his or her combat stats and attributes for a short period of time. So I'm going to try that. And yeah, it looks like I can just level up in the middle of combat, which is kind of amazing. I don't know if he uses magic. He, he is a demon guy, so I'm kind of assuming, oh boy, he's attacking my mage. Oh boy. Uh, he doesn't seem to have that much health. Ouch. Ooh, oh, but he hits hard. Oh, and he turns people on fire, and I don't think I have... I, you know, I think I have the burn recipe called Burn Salve. But I don't know... Salve of Healing. Where is Burn Salve? Oh, here's some Burn Salve. Uh, yeah. You use Burn Salve. And, oh crap, I, I'm, I'm on fire as well. Actually, I need it. <laughs> I need Burn Salve. My character has a lot less health than you do. Okay. I am burning alive. That's not good. We don't want that to happen. Oh, does the burn salve have a pr protective shield? Like I could coat myself with burn salve before fighting? Hmm. I'm going to try the lightning spell. It seems to have worn off already. Without an alchemist station, it's very hard to um, get my, uh, my energies... My energies, not my energies, my, um, my health back up. Because I need to, like, laboriously craft all of these potions in order to do it. Uh, guys are so overloaded. I may actually be out of healing right now. Yeah, I think I'm out. I think I used my last healing potion fighting some of those uh, rock trolls. Try to use the regular healing. I'm guessing there's more than one phase to him, though. This seems a little bit too easy to finish him off like this fast. Spellcasting takes so long in this game. Like in the, that's one of my problems with the um, the combat in here is that it's hard to react to something as it's happening like you would do in real time because this isn't really real time it's much uh it's more like setting a long series of plans but also it feels like maybe you kind of should be able to do that you were bonded with him and kept him alive oh, i will never forget what happened here may this be a lesson to us never give in to temptation. And now, I'm going to burn everything down here. Tell me when I can light the Halelian fire. The fuse is long, but we'll still need to sprint out of the delving when it's lit. Guy was willing to, uh... A valuable object was certainly sold for profit. Okay. The guy was uh, so intent on giving his cutscene dialogue that he even, um... Even when he was on fire, he was willing to say it. That's great. Uh, but yeah, the combat, I mean, it's okay. You know, I, I, am, I do have to admit I'm basically addicted to RPG games. So, you know, if you're looking for someone... Run, Doran Grash! Oh. The fuse is lit! Run as if from a hundred hungry dragons! I thought I was supposed to tell you, bro.
<laughs> when the, when it was lit. Escaped that hellhole not a moment too soon. What happened? Avarosh and the others met their deaths. They were all corrupted by their greed for the Hell Iron. Let us thank Angrosh that we survived. Silence. Prince Aram, what will happen to us now? Must we go before the courts in Morolosh because we helped Avarosh? You did not side with Avarosh when it would have been to your advantage. We shall leave it at that. Do you wish to stay here and keep an eye on this place from now on? I think I speak for all when I say that yes, we do, my prince. And what of you? Can you keep the secret of the delving? I will keep the secret of the delving. I will never speak of the other secret either. I am glad I could help you, Aram, son of Arumbalosh. I thank you. But now that this is all over, I shall go to my father and tell him everything. I have kept silent for too long. He will judge wisely. Wise words, Prince Aram. Take my axe and thanks. May it serve you well from now on. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. What a gift. Thank you. It is time for us to part. Farewell. I hope I had enough room for that. Crap. Oh god. Did this screw up again? Please don't have screwed up. Oh boy, I think he handed us an item. But... Maybe the item didn't appear? Because our inventory was full? Oh no, wait, wait. Oh no, here it is. Angarakaru. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna see if my dwarfy boy can use that. Now hopefully I can return and, uh go back to my um, main city. I, I just want to point out the dwarves here in this game are absolutely adorable. Look at their little legs. I love these little guys. This is amazing. I would give anything to be a fantasy dwarf. Look, I love this little guy. You know? Just have a little hairy dwarf wife. Look at this. I love this guy. Anyway. Okay, um, this game has a weird fast travel system where instead of being able to just fast travel to certain fast travel points, you can only fast travel to certain specific hot spots and from certain specific hot spots. It's not just like, you know, a, a, a fast travel point. You have to be on another fast travel point to travel to the others, which is weird and complicated and odd. Maybe it was, like, simplistic to do that, and it would have been harder to make you able to fast travel anywhere or something, you know? I mean, obviously I can see you not fast traveling during combat, but, um, just gotta drop another save here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's very peculiar. Okay, I do like the, the concept here of um, of this game being we're traveling back and forth between a, a bunch of destinations on a ship on a river, but the, the destinations aren't as, they're not as many as I would like them to be to provide a real wealth of diversity of places to go. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you came out of that cave Delaware. in one piece. Yalik and Sam were already arguing whether we should set sail without you. Oh, pardon me, I'm talking too much. What can I do for you? Where are we going? Show me on the map. Okay, this is the map, and as far as I know, this is kind of like most of the game. I haven't actually been to this location called Hunting Preserve, but there's a lot of... a lot of the game right here, unfortunately. And I do have a little boat traveling along here. This is Nataret, which is the main city area so far in the game. We haven't actually been able to get to the capital, Furdok, and I assume we can't in this game. That was the main hub city area in the original Drakensang. The story of the Finally original one, I played here. it in last year, I kind of... Something's going on. The harbor master is gathering a crowd of strange figures around him, and he's taking them into the dark forest. 
The harbor master's why we're here. I don't know where they're all disappearing to. I've already reported it to Gerlin and Ferdar, and I'm waiting for his answer. I found out about a secret passageway that leads into the castle. Really? That doesn't look good. I can take you to the spot where they slip into the woods. Then you only have to follow them. If we are going into the castle, I'm definitely going to go along. We should be well equipped for this final step. Tell me when we're supposed to get started. Okay, so we'll come back and tell him. This is our ranger character, Ferris. I, I actually kitted her out in Amazon gear and made her more of a fighter than um, she originally was. Um, because archery in this game is... You know, everyone knows the stealth archer joke about Skyrim. And uh, long, long before that happened, before the stealth archer was the overpowered dominating class in an RPG in the 2010s, Archers were, if anything, underpowered. They were clearly much weaker, like in Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2, and, and pretty much most games, archers were kind of, I don't want to say pathetic, but you were clearly better off as a melee character. And I'm going to get my dwarfy boy, my thief, so I can pick locks and things. Nope, I don't want to say anything. Um, and Arda. Yeah, I wish archery was more powerful, but it really kind of wasn't. Um, in the previous level that we were in, it actually did manage to kill, to hurt and even kill some of my party members um, because they were um, being struck by crossbow bolts by a bunch of enemies behind cover. And we couldn't just leap over the cover. The cover was, like, this high, and we couldn't climb over it. We had to actually laboriously destroy the boxes, which took a long time to do. And it was a... It, it really didn't quite work out. I, I like the idea of adding defenses and palisades and things into games, because I think that sounds really neat to add to the combat system. Um, but yeah, it's... It didn't really work out here. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a ton, a ton, a ton of buying and selling right now. So I'm going to leave a timestamp, like this is going to be one chapter where I'm going to be doing the buying and selling. So if you want to skip that, all the inventory management stuff, you can. Because there, I'm probably not going to be saying much. I'm just going to be trading things. got a Roman, a Latin name, and yet sort of an Italian voice. Okay, let's see here. These are bathing herbs, and you can actually get the rotten stink effect, which I think hurts your charisma, which is pretty amusing. That that can, um, <laughs> that that's part of the game. Um, Turnips, I think, do nothing. Shot? I think that's for sling stones. Not for, um... Yeah, I think that's for sling stones, not... Is that 102 ducats we can get for this? Oh, but it's, it's too good. We're gonna have to give it to our dwarf. Anyway. I, I think it's for sling stones. I don't think I've ever seen a sling in this game. Is that even used? I'm not sure where they're used for. I thought when I saw bullet stones, they might have, like, um, um, primitive gunpowder weapons, which would kind of match a Holy Roman Empire kind of setting. A headscarf, a headscarf might keep its wearer, wearer's mane safe from the wind, rain, and broken glass, but that is about it. Yeah, we got these from pirates we killed earlier. Soap is another one of the things that we use to get rid of the stink effect. Apples... Pelt scraps. Ooh, the basilisk's tongue. I think I'm going to have to start using that, because I'm a dagger user. I have some sort of special soul knife. Because I'm, uh... That my elven guy has. I don't... Oh, only armor is shown here. That's weird. But this seems to be better. Uh, bullet fragments. I think we can use those to remake bullet stones. Endurance Regeneration. I want to save that for some final special battle. I think Rusty Nails can be used to make metal scraps, maybe, so I'm going to hang on to that. 
Ether Chief. Since we're not going to be using arrows, I'm going to be getting rid of these broken ones. And I think Goose Feathers can also be used to make arrows, but I don't care about that. Uh, no, Schnapps will be sold. Charcoal I will keep. Um, the Giant Crab's Pincer can supposedly be used to make some special item, but I think you need ten of them. And I only found, like, one giant crab in the entire game. Bullet fragments I can sell. Wood glue I will keep. I probably don't need that, but I'll, I'll keep. Mandibles, broken arrows, goose feathers. These firefly antidotes are only good for poison from these firefly creatures hanging around the city, so I'm going to hang on to that just in case I need it. Turnips, apple, frog's legs I don't have anything to use with yet, but I'm going to hang on to them anyway. Pretty birds, feathers, ale we can just sell, headscarf, silver emblem, silver ring. I think I might hang on to that, silver ring, silver ring, shot. Arbalest. Oh, I wish I could use an Arbalest, but no, I'm, I'm getting rid of it. I really want to be a game where I'm a really badass crossbow user, but I haven't found that game yet. If you know of that game, tell me. Cutlass, Shot, Bolt, Apple. Don't think I'm going to hang on to the Stiletto. I'm going to sell that. Rolling Pin, Opulent Dress. Well, is modest enough below the waist, it doesn't mean much else to the imagination. The padded bodice on this dress shows that she knows how to strut her stuff. And she did indeed. Solo adventure. Don't know what that is. Officer's saber. Sell that. Dirk. Sell that. This master key is really useful because it gives a plus nine bonus to, uh, to pick locks. That's probably the best magic item I've got in the game so far. Red leather pants I can sell, officer's saber, shirt, ring, ring. River Boatman's Lodges, Lozenge. I'll hang on to that, I guess. I haven't really found that endurance regeneration is that big of a deal for me. But uh, to use combat feats, like that bleed ability I was talking about, you do need to worry about your endurance quite a bit. But it uh, hasn't really that been that much of a problem. Uh, winch crossbow. Ah, designed by the Mecha Mechanicus Leonardo of Havana and is characterized by increased penetrating power. Oh, sadly, I gotta sell it. Two-handed saber. I didn't know there these existed. I let my um, uh, ranger lady use uh, sabers, but I, I, I don't plan on using her again. So I hope that she doesn't like get added randomly to the party in the last second or something. Silver Chain, Silver Emblem. These Maru Axes are gigantic crocodile-like lizard men that we had to fight. Rope Cutter. Never have found a game where throwing daggers are any good. With maybe the exception of Symphony of the Night. Maybe. Oh, that winch crossbow is good. There was a ton. Arbalest. Uh, rusty nail, uh, bolts, steel shot. There was an ammunition chest that we raided, and I, I took all this stuff, even though I don't actually use it, just to sell it. And we got a couple of ducats for it, so that's nice. Our saber, war scythe, arbalist, and ooh, cooled fire heart. Should I save this? Hmm. I wonder if that's part of a recipe or something. Look at this knight's armor, by the way. 500 ducats. It would be virtually impossible for me to ever afford this. And, and by, you know, maybe if I sold every item I have, but... Don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, dwarven plate armor. That's nice. Okay, let's, what's light plate armor? Because I think I can craft this. Ooh. 777. Seven. Hmm. Oh, another. And Dwarven Plate Armor is 999. Nine, nine. Ooh, that's good. I think I'm going to go try to craft that Light Plate Armor. 
I think this guy is just using chain mail. Yeah, five, five, five. So it'll bring his defense up by two points, which is very nice. Stolen key? No, I don't need that. That was for another area. Leather strips, salafat, organ root. I guess I can just uh, 1D plus 6, 2D plus 4. I can probably sell his ancestral sword. I don't really think I need it. Getting my uh, mage over here, a lot of his um, alchemical reagents back. Toadstool. I don't even know if I could use most of this stuff. Yoruga root, bleached poppy seeds, pommel. Uh, let me sell that shot. Didn't even notice I still had it. Four dollars. Taller is the word the English word dollar comes from, by the way. Uh, spring water. Solo adventures. That could be interesting, but I'll just sell that. I don't really feel like uh, wasting an extended amount of time reading this. I can't really do that in any RPG game, like the, the logbook entries and um, the Elder Scrolls games. I'm going to give that weapon to him. Because I'm probably not going to switch that out. I thought we need that elixir. Maybe we need this elixir of courage for a crafting item. I'm going to give it to the the dwarf, naturally enough. I'm stereotyping too and give, making him the, the craftsman of the group. Might as well. Okay. And I think I'm going to sell the amulet of intuition as well. Everybody else, I think, has uh, amulets already. Seventeen ducats, not bad. Where's that dress? Didn't I have that in here? Huh. Why can't I sell this? That's weird. Maybe it didn't show up. Maybe I just have to throw that out. Give him the bandages, leave the whetstones for you. Sell fat, that's an alchemical item. Whetstones. I haven't been using the whetstones either. I think they use them to like get bonus damage on your weapon or something. Okay, so I think you can use Angiogorum. The Baptism of Fire, 3D plus zero versus 3D plus zero. Oh, and it's a one-handed, so I can use a shield now. Nice. Uh, is max, uh, always said maxes and aces. Axes and maces. Get that skill up. Okay. Basilisk tongue. Probably seems better. Can I dual wield? No, I can't. I'm going to keep using the basilisk tongue. 1d plus 3, 1d plus 6. It's clearly better. But I'll hang on to my soul, soul knife for... I guess just sentimental value. Elmwood. Lozenges. Gemstones. These gemstones are important for crafting too. Tinder fungus. Some shot to use. There we go. See if the uh, you have any extra. The other guy had, had new armor, so he presumably has new weapons. Not that I'm really all that interested. I, I don't think I will need any new weapons. But maybe if he has something, I'll take a look. Rungatral, a part of my soul. The smith of this battle axe is rumored to have called out. Dracas Malar, 
or Batsi Rapier. I'm going to try to make uh, my rogue a new type of rapier, so I'm going to hold off on buying him anything new. Uh, well, I wish I could... Uh, pole arms. Nope. I don't know if I've seen like a really awesome magical pole arm in this game at all, or I, I don't remember any in the last game. But I don't remember a lot from the last game anyhow. So let's go to the blacksmith. And see what if we finally can make something. I had these recipes for something in the previous area, but uh, okay, let's see if the alchemist has anything new. So I think I need uh, it's cluttered up with all the junk I sold here. I probably I'm gonna see if I can make burn cell. Okay, brimstone water I think I need. But do you have dragon's blood? Hmm. Oh, you do. Good. Thank goodness. Temporary immunity to poison? That might be interesting. I'll take that recipe. The large healing potion. Uh, well, these are expensive, but I better buy them. Okay. Let's see. Alchemy. Demonic armor. Okay, I need 10 mandrake powder. Okay, I do have one dragon blood, one brimstone water, one demon slobber. Demon Slobber was a special thing we got for killing a demon earlier in the game. So I need two Diamond Dust. And... Got that, got that, got that, got that. One elixir. Oh, he needs the Elixir of Courage. Weirdly, this armor that I'm making, demonic leather armor for my mage, is actually an al alchemy uh, skill for some reason. I don't I don't know why, and not not blacksmithing, but whatever. I think a lot of the leather armor making was mostly um, I think that was mostly in the bower skill. So I think bow it's bows, arrows, and like leather goods. And I think I may need to buy all of that mandrake powder. I don't think I have any. Frog's legs, whetstone, rusty nails, dwarven steel. No. Mandrake powder. Oh no, there's mandrake powder. I have ten. Okay, oh, I do have 10. Okay, I misread that. Okay, I just need one Leather Curus. And I hope that is by the Armorer. Because I'm almost certain I had one at some point. But it's possible I maybe just, like, sold it to some random merchant somewhere in this world and I have no idea where it is. So let's check to see if he has a Leather Curus. If anyone knows their their preferred pronunciation of that word, please tell me, because it's it's always... It's always a big debate in my head. Is it cuirass? Curus? Queerass? Queerus? South Gate. Oh, I was just reminded that I need to go to the Magician's Tower and um, load up on new spells. It's a little bit of armor, but mostly it's just crafting material. Lock pick. No. Doesn't have what I need. Okay. Let's get his blacksmithing skill up a little bit. Okay. Uh, light plate. Okay, I need four diamond whetstones. 
And I need 10 more pieces of steel. quite a bit, but let's craft it. Okay, I think I'm going to give this to him. Oh, and he gets to keep his other stuff, so we get to put, like, plate shoulder pads and gloves and boots on him, too. Nice. And a long shirt of chain mail. Hmm. I wonder if I should give this to him. Might keep him alive a little bit more. I wonder what his armor usage. Oh, I always forget where this is. Uh, combat talents. Defensive. There we go. He doesn't even have armor use one. Maybe I should give get that for him. Because he needs to stay alive more in combat than he currently is. He's he's dying quite a bit. There's also a Thieves' Guild in this town, so I have to go check that out. But let's go to the Magician. Better save. It's been a while. It's also a little annoying that this... A lot of the, the fast travel options, they don't take you directly to where you need to go. When literally the game is teleporting you there. They, they give you, like, a few feet behind, just in case there's some sort of plot thing you need to see. This is a mage's tower. I wish I had this tower. I wish this was mine. I dearly wish I had a mage's tower. This was also part of another um, uh, earlier game quest where we went in and... Um, and uh, stopped some horrible creatures from the mage's experiments. It's kind of hard to navigate in this area. And they have a little Fantasia broom there, sweeping up. That little guy. I guess we kind of had that now with uh, Roombas. Although they're probably less effective than the, than the magic Fantasia broom. For some reason, he doesn't teach us ourselves. He makes us go up to the top of the ladder and look in a book where he's left instructions. Because he's a dick. Because he's a mage, obviously. I've never got any of these um, attribute increase spells. Maybe, you know, if someone's an expert in this game, tell me if they're really useful. It just seems like a waste of leveling points to bother doing this. Like, to maybe I could cast it before a battle to get some strength up, maybe. I mean, I don't know. See true and pure. I think that's, like, true seeing. The same thing in uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, wait, no. To human nature goes up. Oh, I guess it's more like an empathy spell. Okay. I was very upset that I could not get this burning hand spell. Because this is powerful, too. And only humans could get it. I didn't know that. Iron rust rot ruins weapons and the... Uh, of enchanted weapons. Only dwarves can get that. This one, only humans and dwarves get the unlock spell. Only humans get the magic shield spell. Uh, Restituto? Yeah, just in case. Master of Animals. I already have, like, a Tame Animals ability. Oh, this one is also Vacuum Radius. Suffer Suffocation Effects. Can't use it. Just humans. Only humans can use Cold Shock. Fireball. Only humans. This is terrible. Duplicate, double vision, elemental minion, Skeletarius, or Phobus. That was in um, Arcana, uh, Realms of Arcania. Paralysis. I get almost nothing. There is an elven uh, mage hanging around here somewhere uh, that I did some of my earliest quests with, so I'm going to go talk to him, but I don't remember him having any interesting spells. The elf-only spells are pathetic. I think this Balm of Healing might be... Let me see if that's only elves. Uh, doesn't say here. I thought that maybe only elves could use that. Or maybe it was only elves and humans. But suffice it to say, the elf-only spells are kind of crummy. And they're not really very damaged based 
Okay, there we go. That's the magician's uh, apprentice lady. I thought she might be an NPC at first. I mean, a, a recruitable player character at first, but she's not, as far as I know. Okay, here's the wizard down here in his laboratory. Where he's being stereotypically ungrateful after we rescued him. Not really. Okay. Oh, he also sells dragon's blood. Very dangerous. 106 ducats for that dagger, but... No, nothing. It's a wasted trip. I think you, think you might be able to get another... Um, mage in the party instead of the ranger, like the sort of a Caden Malenko Ashley kind of thing for Mass Effect where you can save one and the other dies, but I didn't know that at the time. And really probably didn't need another mage. Even if he had much more powerful spells, he would be... Spellcasting time is too slow to make effective use of them, and your, uh, your spell points are always going to be low, unfortunately. Okay, let's chat with Laurelin, the elf, or Laureline as I call him. Just in case he has any spells for us to use. It's a cool wavy bladed flamberge he's got there. There we go. Harvested, harvested so many plants in this playthrough. I, 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 I want to be an adventurer, not a botanist. Not that that's any shaded botanists out there. It's just not really feels like the call of adventure, you know? Maybe if you want to go into some wild, dangerous area to find some hitherto unknown species of plant or something. Uh, okay. Dodge. Marks from Dodge two, dodge three, dodge. Okay. Fastness of body, attribute junk, move as lightning. Hmm. I guess I'll do that. Thunderbolt, bomb of healing. No, humans can use bomb of healing too. I haven't tried this Ice Cold Warrior yet spell. It sort of absorbs all damage during the time it takes for the spell to last. But then when the spell ends, you take all of the damage you would have taken without the spell. So it will probably kill you at the end of combat. But if combat's over, you can just walk right up, uh, up again. There's, there's actually no death in this game. Um, you just... Well, there is death if all of your party members die. But if at least one person survives combat, all of the other characters are considered unconscious like like what happened when you were at in uh, the old gold box games if you were at like minus one hit point or whatever wow nope no spells do you have any items elven bow nope jeez there is an area um, an elven village that we do a quest with at one time, but they didn't have traditional merchants there. You had to barter with the elves for things. And I don't even quite remember what it was they, if they were selling anything, because they just said, I'm looking for this. Would you please bring it to me? But they didn't tell me what I would get for that, which is odd. Really odd. Because I don't know if I would want to bother bartering if I don't know what I'm going to get. I would have to, I mean, I could reload, but... Okay. Let's see if we can make this rapier. Eurasian epic. Okay, I need one U wood and one cross guard. I don't have a cross guard. Uh, 
I might hang on to this heart because it seems like maybe something that could be used in a crafting thing. Maybe. Diamond dust. Hmm. I don't have any cross guards. That's odd. Uh, cross guard. Do you sell wood or do I have to go to the might have to go to the bower to buy that. Yep. Is it you wood or elm? It is one piece of you wood. If you would please. That's the tavern we were in originally, the Leaping Stag. But I don't think there's a reason to go in there, probably. I don't think I sold anything to that merchant, probably. I hope. Uh, Elm U. There we go. Ah, that it starts out as the maximum amount of stuff to uh, sell, but whatever. Okay, I do have this stuff for the Horatian Epe. Maybe this isn't even any good for anymore, but I'm going to at least try to make it. I can sell it at the very least and get some money. In fact, maybe that's how you're supposed to, to make things, just crafting and then selling it to get like hugely expensive items. Maybe that's what they intend you to do. Okay. What? Oh, there it is. Okay. That to you. 1D plus 6, 1D plus 3. He's using the same weapon for basically the whole, the whole game. Hmm. Doki. So. Let me see if I can get armor use skill for my rogue. Then maybe go to some other... If I I don't know if I can leave this area now that I'm sort of... The final quest is going to be starting soon. But I'm going to have to see because I want to make this armor. Recruit Captain... Proof combat style. Okay, there we go. I need strength 12 to have armor use, apparently. Shield fighting armor, though. Okay. Now that I'm switching them over to using a one-handed axe, I might as well uh, get into learn that. Armor use 3. Nice. Endurance 3. Spend a lot of money. Blade Fury Hammer Strike. Okay, two handed swords can use that. Now we need to Courage 15 to use that. Let's see if I can level it up. Uh, courage 14. Okay, I'll give you Courage 15. Might as well. And, uh, yeah. Defensive Combat 3, yes please. And let's see if he has... Oh, he can get Hammer Strike. And Sweeping Blow. Nice. 
he will. Mastery, endurance. Uh, he could, but he doesn't have the level in points. Same with armor use. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave that for now. I, I wandered around for a while checking things out at different locations, which is probably good because I did manage to find maybe an extra quest possibly, or, or maybe the commandant of that river fort just wants to talk to us at an old area. But I looked up online, apparently I, I feel stupid because I must have walked right, right by it. You actually can find a recipe for a leather cuirass at the Bower, who I already visited. I just skipped over all of the recipes. I didn't even look at them because I assumed it would just be an item. I wasn't thinking that maybe we could find a recipe to make the leather armor, which is kind of annoying because I feel like maybe I'm going to have to bring my... Um, ranger with me because if it involves leather crafting she's really the only one who can do that but oh well i spent so much time talking about crafting that i i wasn't even thinking about that about looking for a crafting item i should have though it was obvious Okay. Ooh, she, she has leveled up while we're not there. She has 3,800 points, so that's pretty nice. I'm just going to get her bow-making skill up. The voice acting in general in the game is passable at best, and Ferris's voice, I thought she had sort of like a cutesy kind of quality to the voice where it seemed very um very childish and i really didn't care for it so i, I kicked her out of the party eventually i don't know if i've been to this merchant yet oh don't know why i didn't go to this merchant yet I'm gonna stock up on healing potion Ooh, 100 wonder there we go that's the good stuff Gonna have to go back and get a ton of that. Okay. Oh, you know, I think my dwarf actually has some of my crafting supply. Well, no, no, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to take a look. I should probably sell her weapons and armor, too. I was just worried about doing that in case she's added to the party late in the game. Okay. Leather. What? Oh, dear Lord. Is it? Please don't let it be there. Ah, I had leather armor. Oh, God. But doesn't the other say curious? Is that the exact same thing? I mean, it's the same thing there. And here it is, finally, demonic armor. So, 4 4 4 on the chest, belly, and back. 2 2. Okay, it's better. I don't know if it was worth all that headache, but it is better. Let's see, he is 5 5 5. Hmm. I'm going to hang on to this Agaya tactical shirt just in case he. Um, hmm. Maybe I should get his strength up a little bit. I wonder if I can get it up by two and then give him armor use. Minus one endurance cost. I think I may want to do that. Let's see. 
doesn't look that demonic, but I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I like it. The pointy wizard hat kind of uh, throws off any look. Amazingly. <laughs> uh, what does he have? Defensive. Oh, he can learn Defensive Combat 3 now, though. Maybe I should just learn that. Hmm. Hmm. I think it might be better to get his strength up. And I'll leave it at that. Don't have a huge amount of money, so we may want to save this for a little bit later. But I will check out how much a dwarven plate armor costs. Let's check out. 344. It's not impossible. Hmm. Oop, did not mean to buy that. So we might be able to sell some junk. Ooh, Amazon Shield? Oh, we're selling that. Sorry. But you're not, I mean, you're not even part of the party. You're not even part of the party. We're, we're so, well, maybe, maybe, should we? Can only women use this shield? Can he use this? Oh, he can. Actually, yeah, maybe we won't sell the shield. We'll sell something else. Arrows. Sorry, Ferris. But we need money. Hold on, let me level something up first. Should have done this from the beginning, but I forgot. Oh no, it's his haggling is up at max. So I think the haggling might be everyone in the party's haggling put together. So if I gave someone a ton of haggling, this incredible price on that knight armor may go down, but I already have light plate armor for my other guy, so I'm just gonna buy dwarven plate. And there we go. That's good stuff. And he can now wear uh, something on the shoulders. He still has a bunch of... He already has dwarven plated boots. Greaves, gloves. He can be even more powerful than he is right now. We can sell this dwarven uh, coat. Get rid of that hardened leather vest. I guess I'll sell. I guess so. Dwarven coat. Only 10 ducats, but uh, I guess that's not bad. Dare I sell the rest of her stuff? Okay, that was Epe we don't need. Okay, so we're back from our little uh, shopping sojourn. And we are in the Toll Port town. River Tolls were a big part of trade back then, so that's pretty good here. So we're going to go see the, co the new Commandant, because we ousted the old one because he was corrupt and working with river pirates. And we're going to see what he has to say, but first let me talk oh, to this guy. Oh, uh, Nautil, finally. Uh, oh, forgive me. I, I thought you were my apprentice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This man just appeared on the dock with a pile of crates. He says he's the dean of a magic academy, so we're trying to be as respectful as possible. 
But whenever we ask him something, he just starts talking about someone called Nottle. I don't think he even exists. Oh, that's an interesting theory, my young friend. Are you also familiar with Galotta's commentary on Philosophica Magica? According to which we are all just imaginary figments dreamt up by alien beings? You are clearly alluding to the fact that some scholars doubt the actual existence of our third sphere. It's a little fourth wall breaking here. Quite right. In his treatise, Galata also says that Ethra and the cosmos actually only exist as ideas and can therefore be changed at any time. Worrying, don't you think? At that time, the colleague believed it was the gods who dreamed our world. But really, there's no reason why it couldn't be me, for example. An interesting concept, I think. Do you mind if I ask your name, incidentally? One wants to know. One whom has imagined. Eh? <laughs> Why don't you just imagine? My name is Corvus. Can I help you in some way? Maybe you could look for Noddle for me, yes? Please tell him that I need him here urgently. He's probably forgotten the time again. Absent-minded boy that he is. Well, be? I did tell him about those old witch stones up there. Very powerful. Good for sphere travel and blood magic. Hmm. You mean that stone circle in the northeast? I've been there. It's an eerie place. Yes! <laughs> it's the kind of thing that interests young people. <laughs> no wonder Nottle has been away so long. I want to ask you something else. Uh, but of course! Questions are the keys to wisdom. What do you want to know? What is this stuff? Hmm? That? Oh, these are, um, traveling supplies. And the, uh, other things, of course. Ask Nottle, he packed it. Who are you? Oh, I am Dean Recorium Montagonus. <laughs> yes, 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 that's me. I vaguely remember this guy or character very much like him from the first game. No questions? To become a master, you must never stop. Well, what did you say again? Must be on my way. Okay, I uh, guess we can't rummage through his baggage here, but maybe we should go into the woods and try to find this guy. Old dot. It's been a little block, a few hours of, more than a few hours of gameplay since I've been here, so I'm not exactly certain where I should go. Hope I'm not too high level for this area, because I didn't immediately come back. And I actually snuck into this castle through a sewer grate over there. I didn't charge in the front way, so I'm very, I'm kind of lost in this area. I don't quite know where to go. The general look and the feel of the game is, um, seems very generic high fantasy, nothing that really stands out to me, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I guess it's all right. Who are these people? Oh, there's the commandant. Are you lost, traveler? My men are dealing with the toll down at the dock. They told me down at the quay that you wanted to speak with the crew of the Falaria. Ah, so you cleaned up the toll gate. As an officer, I find your methods suspect. But Duke Groen thanks you. May I make a suggestion? What is it? It's about the river pirates. They must be stopped. I am authorized to pay a bounty for every pirate. You would be perfect for this job. And how are we to go about it? Do you want me to just clap the river pirates and irons and bring them to you? That would be desirable. But due to the services you have already rendered, I am prepared to trust your good name. Just bring me the pirates' oh, emblems. Oh no, I think I already sold all of the emblems from the pirates I killed. Just You'll get money. five silver thalers for every silver emblem. Uh, they say the pirate leaders wear solid gold emblems. I can give you a special reward for those. Do you have any river pirate emblems? Let me see. Really? You got one of their leaders. I have a special reward for that. Ten ducats. You've earned these ducats. I sided with the other pirate captain, so I don't have the other gold one. Just a moment. I have uh, a special request for you. Unzip. This must remain confidential. A certain Lucia told me how helpful you were. She also mentioned your 
tact. You seem perfect for this delicate matter. I need you to buy me some yield hemorrhoid cream. My nephew Hubert, the useless brat, is shirking his duties as a soldier. He thinks the rules don't apply to him. He just spends the whole time reading a book. Unfortunately, his parents are from a noble family, so I can't discipline him like a normal soldier. I need you to bring me the book to put an end to this nonsense. You'll find a way. He's usually somewhere near the river, dreaming his days away. Wait a moment, please. <clears throat> Allow me to present Madame Ulwina Niesbeck. Pleased to meet you. Angward has told me a lot about you. Yes, Madame Niesbeck is one of the most respected ladies in all Furdok and urgently requires help. You seem to be the best for the job. Oh, Angward, don't be so formal with me. Please finish your conversation. There'll be plenty of time for my request. An unusual lady, isn't she? Very elegant. I'd be very pleased if you could help her. Farewell. Okay, let's see what she says. This is a lot of the game, unfortunately. It's not all dungeon delving. It's a lot of the standard, you know, RPG fetch quests. Go here, do this, talk to this, persuade that person. Uh, thank you for taking oh, the really... time to listen to my request. My poor brother has fallen into the hands of those villainous pirates. We can't afford the ransom those criminals are demanding. My family and I are desperate. I want to deal directly with the pirates. Maybe they'll show some pity when I explain our situation. I heard that you might be able to help me find the pirates. Fair lady, I bow before your courage. But as a man of honor and a knight, I cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Allow me and my companions to free your brother. Oh, this is too generous of you, uh, sir. Ardo. Ardo of Borstock. Oh, so it's you. Well, many thanks, sir Borstock. I am moved by your chivalry. But I'd still rather try on my own. If you could just show That's me the way... That's a little bit suspicious. I can tell you where to what? go. A lady like you, defenseless among that pack of ruffians? By my honor, I cannot permit this. I wish we had more men. Then we'd finish that scum once and for all. Yes, it is regrettable that we are forced to take such measures, but don't worry, I will take care. Could you tell me where to find their camp? Yeah, sure. I don't care what happens Thank to you. Thank you. I will. Goodbye, Arnwart. Adieu. Mm. Okay, let's talk to that, uh... Just a moment. I'm not very happy about the idea of this young lady being at the mercy of that pirate scum. And in my jurisdiction, unfortunately, I cannot spare any of my men. But someone should look for Madame Nisbeck at the pirate camp and make sure she's safe. Do you think you could do it? I'd feel much happier. Well, think about it, and good luck on your travels. A very impressive lady, but she's not as harmless as she pretends. Believe me, a swindler's eyes are always the same. No, my friend, I'm sure you're mistaken. She's a lady of standing, not some unsavory, dockside lowlife. I, I doubt her intentions. There's something very strange about what's going on here. Oh, we can learn basically the same stuff we could learn in uh, town. Uh, corp. No. Is that noise with these chickens? Hmm. Okay. Let's go see if we can find that guy by the dock and persuade him to go be a soldier. Or more accurately, I think we're going to probably try to uh, persuade the guard captain to let him do what he wants and read books if he wants. Because I don't think he should be forced to engage in this military service if he doesn't want to. There's a lovely little fort here. Still very generic, and the graphics in this and Neverwinter Nights are typically rather vague and uh, poorly put together. That's another reason why I don't like to play it up close, because you can see how low, low res everything is. I, I actually, th there, there might be some problem with this, um, uh, the resolution here in this video, because for some reason or another, the River of Time. It was I was unable to get it to run in full screen, and I had to alter the like make a shortcut and alter the config file or not the config file but the shortcut properties to include windowed in it because it would just crash every time I tried to run it. 
in full screen. I, I don't know why that is. I, I've, I've heard other people have this problem with uh, Windows 10, so there must be some issue going on there. And I'm going to leave a link in the description, by the way, to this uh, the page on Steam. I wish that you could get this on uh, GOG, because you can get the original Drakensang on GOG, but this I only saw on uh, on Steam for some reason, so, you know, i got to play it on there. And is the young guy over here? No, I think that's where we exited the fort at the end of the mission. So I guess it must be at the other... There he is, Hubert von Haring. And I guess uh, his assistant must be somewhere off in the woods area. I really didn't explore this area too good because I was eager to get to the pirates after this. After the big plot-related quest, I wanted to get moving and uh, see what was happening. And Tinder Fungus. It's a pretty sylvan setting here. Traveling mercenaries, innkeeper. Where are you? That's a big chain under the water that they can raise up to block passage for ships, which was something that was actually used in real life in a lot of places during the age of uh, pre-modern ships. Oh, Hubert von Haring. There he is. Who? Who are you? I, uh, leave me alone. I don't feel like talking to you. Why? Are you going to read your book? You know about it? I bet my uncle sent you to take it away from me. Tell him I'm not interested in his miserable guard duty. That boring beetle? All he talks about is duty and order. But he's just trying to suck up to my parents. He knows nothing about the things that are really important. Yes, your uncle sent me, but I want to hear your point of view too. My point of view? I want him to leave me alone. This book talks about things a hundred times more important than the everyday stupidity around here. Now give me the book and go back to your fast talk. But what is the point of just reading about those things? You must do something yourself if you really want to experience this. So put your book away and prepare for adventure. Well, I guess I have the max level of fast talk that my rogue can get. Let's see if this works. Yes, you're yes. right. I have to experience everything in real life, not just in my imagination. Here, take the book. When I'm adventuring, I won't need it anymore. Okay. So that worked out pretty easy, so I'm going to go and uh, try to find that circle of stones. Fairy stones, do they call them? Witch stones, something? Hmm. There are some very angry wolves over here. Better get my Defense is ready. And summon my animal companion. Which is a mire beast, which looks like a baboon. I think the bear might have been better. The game auto-pauses when uh, you enter combat. And there we go. Let's see how we do against these guys. Hopefully pretty good with our new armor. I'm already out of spell points, and I just cast a defensive spell, a summon spell, and one uh, low-level thunderbolt spell. That was it, and I'm already down. Okay. There may be treasure rubber here. With the eastern forest. Fast travel point. Don't know if I see any um, magic Stonehenge-like place. I wish I owned a tower like this. That's, that's all I need in life. Just a tower. Of course, I'd be hooked up to water and electricity, but, you know, just, just a little tower. Let's see. One berry. Okay, so let's go to the toll gates. Is there another way to leave here? Over, over here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Where is that uh, magician's apprentice? Earning a stone circle in the wilderness in the northeast. So would that be up here? Do we have to go across there to get to it? Eastern forest. Hmm. Not sure how to get across here. Like this gigantic tree, an old growth kind of primeval tree that's been growing for millennia. So bugs, wonder. Maybe it's this way. Gotta stop to get these berries. I guess I can buy like an unlimited amount of one berries and matter it now. I saw from that one lady, but. Yeah, that costs money. For a hundred berries, it's uh, two ducats. That's a lot. For some reason or another, the uh, the helpful paw spell that gets you new um, uh, that gets you an animal companion for a while, it doesn't seem to automatically go up every time you increase the spell power. Like you could go down in power level. Like this might whoa whoa whoa. Giant stag beetles, okay. Like this Meyer Beast baboon thing barely seems to... I mean, he's already injured, and he, I think he's much weaker than the, the bear that I had before at level 9. So I'm going to switch back to using that. These giant stag beetles are pretty cool enemies. You can also get one of these guys as one of your uh, animal companions. That broken bone there means he's injured and will... Uh, suffer penalties in combat. So I'm just going to summon the bear now. I don't want this... this baboon guy helping me out. Maybe his stats, like his strength is powerful or something, but just, I mean, they're they're useful as meat shields, not as damage dealers. Okay. Circle of stones. More enemies down here. Oh, there they are. My most powerful damage spell, and I only did 11 damage. Yikes. Just got to finish him off physically. Yeah, we seem way too powerful for this area. Fortunately, my Cure Wounds ability is very high. But I still have to use an item in order to cure wounds. I can't just do it automatically. There we go. No circle of stones yet. Elmwood. Let's see if we can go up this way. Boulder. What is this? Oh, hmm. Cave entrance is blocked. It looks like I can go up here. Where are they? Oh, they're way over there. Oh, 20 damage, that's not too bad. Yeah, I really didn't do a good job exploring here. I just not look at any of this stuff because they, they jumped me right into a some combat right at the start so I didn't bother looking and maybe the quest wouldn't have even started yet anyway so maybe that was the right idea one berry there's the circle of stones oops some of these fireflies glad I hung on to that firefly poison antidote just felt like they were going to be coming back into play somewhere. Okay. Some boar over here. That shot would have skewered a wild boar. Immediately think of that line in Lord of the Rings whenever I see a boar. Nope. 
<laughs> Shouldn't even bother. If you use a spell and it targeted at an enemy that dies before you can cast it, they just auto... They, they, they don't auto-target a new enemy. They just cast it into nothingness and lose it. Okay, there Hello? we go. Hello? You there? Could you help me, please? I appear to be stuck here. Oh, you've already spoken with Master Recorium? Yes, I'm his apprentice. I'm actually called Ungfred, not Nautil. The Master just seems to find it easier to call me that, I guess. He's looking for you. Praise be to the Mother of Wisdom. I wasn't even sure he would notice I was gone. Could you help me? Otherwise, I'll be standing here all night. What happened? Well, I wanted to take a look at this stone circle. The Compendium of Miraculous Stones describe it as an unusual specimen. It resembles the work of dwarven geodes, but it's much older. I noticed some strange magical traps on the way here. Obviously some type of contained transversalis. The stone circle itself seems to have a powerful magical aura. Very strange. I cast an analytica spell on the stones, and it must have caused some kind of feedback. Now the arcane currents have trapped me here. Uh, are you still listening? How can I help you? There's some kind of magical matrix between these stones that won't let me leave. You have to find a way to interrupt the flow of magical energy. I think the source of the energy is somewhere below the stone circle. I saw a cave on the way here. Maybe you'll find something there. Unfortunately, the entrance looked like it was blocked. But I'm sure Master Recorium can help you with that. He's an expert in transformation magic. Please, go and ask him to help you. Go to the cave and look for the source of the magic and try to cut it off. Oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him tell me it's anything unnatural. That transformation magic is going to turn us into... Like, mice to get his... Uh, I'm, I would be worried about that. Uh, but I guess we can. Oop, one of my guys is injured. The injury system... I like that idea and concept, but I don't really think it worked out well in practice, because it's, again, this odd half measure. It doesn't feel like you would feel if you were in first-person or, like, a zoomed-in third-person game. Like, uh, first person in the Elder Scrolls or third person in the Souls games where you would feel, you know, your broken leg or your arm not swing as fast because of an injury and have to seek out some elaborate cure for it. Instead, it just kind of feels, um, like a minor nuisance you have to deal with occasionally. Yeah, I better save before he transforms us into badgers or something, whatever the hell he's gonna do. Oh. There you are again. Uh, did you find Nottle? I found Oh, Nottle. that's good. Hmm, yes. Uh, where is he then? Is he with you? Nottle is trapped. He says you can help me free him. Sorry, but you can't just leave. You have to declare your goods. Oh, that's right. Uh, these uh. two gentlemen wanted to discuss something with me. Hmm, uh, then I shall have to stay here. It's only polite. Oh, can't you go and free him? How is he trapped? He seems to be trapped by the stones, um, stone circle's magical matrix, making him a living part of the magic there. The source seems to come from somewhere beneath the stone. Beneath the stone circle. Beneath? Now, to break the bonds, you just need to disrupt the power at the source. To do that, you must get to the source of the magical energy. That's exactly the problem. The cave entrance is blocked. Blocked? Oh, I know that from my expeditions. Here, take this. It really works wonders on mineral manifestations of every type. It may need several applications. I better look for this cave. Okay, so we just gave us a magical pickaxe, I guess. So, let us head over there. See if we can break into here. Oops. That's weird. Why are monsters spawning around here? I wonder if they didn't tell me something that they did. I think these spiders are dangerous, but they don't have a lot of health. There we go. Something is trying to keep us out. Okay, do we need to actually use this officially? No, it's just going to do it automatically. Oh, 
by the twelve gods, that was a lot of work. I always thought magic was to avoid work, not create it. Yeah, why didn't you just send us like a dynamite spell to explode it? How big is this cave? Might be pretty big. Uh -oh. What? Who are you? What are you doing down here? Did he send you? I am Corvus, and I seek the source of the magical energies in this cave. Magical energies? Do you mean our ritual? It was interrupted. Weeks of preparation, and then somebody up there fools with the stones. I'm sure he had his hand in this. He's been trying to thwart me ever since the ritual was interrupted. He's using every means possible to stop me completing it. He's constantly hiding the components. Don't believe his lies. It's obvious he is not to be trusted. You should help me find the ingredients. Who are you? I am Maro Amer, I Elbura, mage and researcher of arcane secrets. The ritual I began must be ended. He must not succeed. Who is he? He was once my companion, but now he shows his true face. He is evil and unscrupulous to the core. He wants nothing more than to destroy me. He must not achieve his goal. No time. I must continue. Bring the ingredients to me when you have them. I shall wait for you in the cave beneath the stone circle. And be careful. I'm sure he's laid traps. Transversalis! Hmm. Something much bigger is going on here, and I don't know what's happening. And I don't trust any of these people. I mean, that guy seemed evil to the core himself. Just pretend I spelled that correctly. Hi there, guys. Uh, unfortunately, this next section of the video, the remainder of the video, there were some audio errors, and unfortunately my voice gets drowned out by the monsters and the soundtrack during combat especially, so I really appreciate you sticking with me during these audio issues as I get them worked out. I left it on here in case you want to try to see if you can understand me through this, but it can get a little bit difficult at times, so just to let you know before going forward, you may want to see whether you can comprehend what I'm saying, so sorry about that, and thanks a lot. I promise I'm going to get these audio things worked out one day. Okay, so let's go uh, do this blackguard's task, I guess. I mean, there's not all that much else for us to... I mean, we can't really... It, it, this wouldn't work in tabletop role-playing, I don't think, because you, we would demand follow-up questions if this happened, you know? We can't just, like, expect this to occur. And I guess he could technically teleport away, which is a good DM's trick, uh, in case something... You just need them to accept something, you just have them teleport away, but I don't know. Just, uh, it seems like we wouldn't be doing this if we were able to ask more questions. Okay. There's some spiders in here. I imagine this guy is up to some sort of villainy, because the need for was talking about this being a good site for blood magic. A strange tuber? Like a weird potato? An extremely strange tuber. I do, li I do like um, RPGs where you can examine something. There's a little bit of flavor text there for it. I do like that. I think Neverwinter Nights did that very, very well because they had little histories about magic items and all that. It was pretty cool. Okay, uh, so, apparently a magic potato was a quest item, okay, and I'm not going to question that, I'm just going to roll with it. Don't even know what I'm going to use this fire moss with, I'm just, you know, I'm just picking it up to pick it up, I guess. Hopefully we will get uh, money from this, because it, it may seem like we have a lot, 78 ducats. But that's uh, nothing compared to how much money we would want to spend to fully kit out our guys, uh, our, our okay. warriors, with plate boots and pauldrons and everything like that, G plate gloves, everything. Is he, is he still wearing regular pants? I know he's just wearing regular travel yeah, pants yeah. instead of chainmail leggings. I should have got him some of those. Oh well. It can be kind of weird um, buying armor because some pieces of armor take up multiple slots on the body, 
Like if they can tick up the gloves and the arm things, or the legs and the feet. So it can be a little bit confusing sometimes, but I don't know. Uh, let's get this one. Hmm. That's odd. That also was a Neverwinter Nights dialogue wheel, which includes all of the dialogue and all of the roles and everything that happens on there, in case you want to look, at, look that up. I think most players don't care about that, and I tend not to look at it, and if somebody said they were going to take it out of these games, I don't think I would care that much. Occasionally I want to look at dialogue again, just to remember what somebody said. I know that you're helping that weakling by looking for the components for the ritual. Forget that pathetic worm. From now on, you shall obey my will. Who are you? I am the master here. My name is Reward of the Dark. Everything in this cave serves my power. If you serve me, I shall wish to reward you. I have the power to grant your wishes. Oppose me, and I shall destroy you. Collect the components from the surrounding rooms and bring them to the center of the place of ritual. I shall wait for you there. Transversalis. I'm not sure what to th by Bardauer's spear. I'm not sure what to think of all this, but I know. See, here it is. But I know I certainly don't trust that bag of bones. Yeah, I don't trust him either. And I really didn't trust the original guy, to be honest. But now that I see that his competitor is a lich that is wandering around talking about dark, evil deeds, I, I mean, he seems better by comparison. I guess I just have to choose the less whoa, the lesser evil. What what is this? Big firefly. Okay, it's more of these poisonous firefly things. These these don't think they're too tough. They don't poison you. Got another quest item apparently that we did not know we were looking for. Okay. Did they drop again? Yeah. I think we can sell those, but it's such a piddling small change. It doesn't matter. I don't get out of bed for less than a ducat. Now that I'm level like nine or something. Ten. Okay. Let's continue looking around. I was I was wondering whether I was going to buy the expansion pack to this game called Philemon's Secret. And if anyone knows uh, has played the game and knows if that's any good, could you please let me know in the comments so that so I make my choice about uh, whether I should buy it or not. Um, I don't know if it's particularly long, but I did notice on Steam it's the same price as the base game on sale. This base game was $4, which is a great deal. But the expansion pack was also $4, and I'm like, okay, this better be a good expansion pack. Oh boy. There are... dark deeds afoot. Oh boy, more scorpions. Haven't fought these in a little while. No, they just won. Strange berries. I have a scorpion's berries. Okay. Drink the tea. Hopefully get rid of the poison. Ooh, that poison's working fast. I wish that were like it in real life, where you just drink tea and all of your poison body goes away, you know? Wouldn't that be nice? Just have some chamomile and just call it and the pain goes away. Maybe that's what tea does. I don't know. I, I, maybe, you know, maybe it does do that. I don't want to walk into this ritual chamber without all of the items. I hope the games are going to cause a problem with that. Uh, fire moss. Don't even no idea why I'm collecting this stuff. Wizard blood magic. Why did that? guy, the skeleton guy, have the same name as the other guy, that very distinct sort of Gaelic sounding name. Was he the same guy, but like the evil twin version of him? Maybe that's what's how we're, like, his body was inhabited by a demon, but then where did the, the other guy have a body? Or did he? Maybe he didn't have a body. Maybe he had like, maybe he was just a ghost. Soon I'll be rid of you. No, wait, maybe it was a different name. Marowir and Yor... What would that say? Uh, hmm. Giant 
crab. There we go. I, for, I forget what crafting recipe requires a ten giant crab claws. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother with it. I grab. I hope in the expansion pack I will get to uh, transfer my items. That's one of the, the best, coolest things you can do in any, um... Oh, I need the animal skinning skill to get the grab lab. Yeah, my mind is way too low for this. Never mind. I need a... Oop, I have this herb sickle, this druidic, um... Sickle item that I can use to, uh increase my skill with uh, gathering herbs, but sometimes I just don't do it because I'm lazy. And if I can transfer my items, that would be really cool, because it always sucks if you can't do that. It always feels like you're being robbed when that happens. Like it felt, it felt I think that happens in Mask of the Betrayer, one of my favorite RPG stories ever. But they don't, I don't think they let you carry anything from the original. I don't quite remember. Giant stag beetles. Okay, these guys probably aren't too tough. I wonder if I'm a little over leveled in this area. Because I spent all this time, especially this time on the back end, and you really see shit that I'm going to I think they with a wound in the eyes, because I remember when Neverwinter Nights 2, quest item received, guys, it would tell you what was wrong, I think. Or was it in Dragon Age? I, I know it was in Dragon Age, where you'd say, like, you had a cracked skull and your intelligence was down or something like that. But I don't remember now if that was even in, um... I'm pretty sure that was in Neverwinter Nights 2. I'm thinking of playing Neverwinter ah. Nights 2 again um, at some point, and maybe stream it too. So let me know if you'd be interested in me uh, doing a little bit of that. Just, you know, like my standard thing where I would do like a couple hours of uh, Never of the original campaign in Neverwinter Nights, and then maybe, let, you know, some sometime. Wait, I must speak with you. Well, that pathetic creature is elsewhere. The moment of decision has come. The other one is weak. I have the power to reward you richly. Give me the components. Then I shall smash you. You and the weakling. No one shall stop me. I am Transversalis. What do you say, ah, there at the end? Did someone punch in or something? Hmm. I have a feeling that we're going to find out that both of them are evil and they're both ripping us off by doing this and we shouldn't trust either one, but whatever, you know? I'm just here to get some money, man. I shouldn't say that as a druid. As a druid, I should want to bring balance to nature and the force and all that crap, but, you know. Uh, it's not easy being a druid, I can tell you that. I remember, I think, in one old AD&D campaign, I actually became a Grand Hierophant Druid at one point. And I was kind of getting bored of the character, and I didn't really care for it. And I was just so angry and frustrated about, um... Ready on call! ...about my alleged powers. Like, I remember being... Like, looking in the manual and finding out that, Oh, I can go to the Elemental Plane of Air any time I want, once a day. And I can remember just thinking, Why would I want to do that? There's just air. Like, I, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's some reason. But I was just trying to justify it to myself. You know, I was a grand hierophant druid, damn it. I had powers beyond the, the command of mortal men. I could talk to daffodils or something. I don't know. I, I, was, I was really clutching literally at straws. Like, maybe I could talk to grass. Oh, God, where is that? How do I get this to the central chamber? This looks like it. Or get everything going. And get my bear. 
wish we could pick your animal companion. That was something that was... This isn't exactly an animal companion. It's like a summon elemental... Or like a summon character. I hate that elves are forbidden from a summon elemental spell. That is such BS. I know I'm saving all the time, but you know, I do. Ooh, a book. At last, Hysindi, Mother of Mysteries, praise you. Is Hysindi good or bad? Now, the secret is hidden within these verses. Life and death lie farthest apart and yet so near. Neither is neighbor, neighbor to the flower of Mariscon. The berry brings renewal, but berries do not flourish in deserts of calm. Uh, no, the ritual is only completed like that. It's close, and really ruined everything. The tuber brings death. Potatoes do not bring death. They bring life, sir. Okay, um, is that the evil one or the less evil one, sir? Have you found the components? They are, are you a fine. demon? Yes, good. Now I can end the ritual. I can atone for what? No, the ritual will be complete as we agreed. If I had listened to you, pathetic fool, I would have succeeded long ago. We should have laid truly dead in traps. Our ritual would never have been interrupted. Your weakness held us back. You there, give me the components. I shall end it now. No, I will stop. You, please, place the components for me. The sequences, the book, you must consult the book, but you must change it. The notes, here in my pocket. You have to listen to that fool. Place the components, use the book. Complete the ritual! I would ensure that this pathetic presence no longer disturbs the ritual. Tell me when the ingredients are arranged. Excuse me? Wh where did he say notes? The notes he hand drew in the book? Okay, the undead caster wants me to end the ritual for him while he struggles with his adversary. Seems to have something against performing the ritual in this manner. The undead caster didn't tell me the correct sequence of the components either. I'm supposed to get it from a book. Well, which one is the undead one? They both seem undead. Uh, ritual components... And I was just complaining, saying I, would, I didn't use this, but now I have to. I have to go back and look at this again. Give me the components, no. Place the components. The sequence is in the book. You must consult the book. But you must change it. The notes here in my pocket. You have to. What? What notes? Is there any... Wait, no, wait, hold on, we have to talk. Sir? No, not the undead one. Where's the other guy? You. No. Have you arranged the components? My patience is running. I cannot remember. My weaker self still blocks me. My mind, he doesn't want. Well, where is the thing in his pocket? I don't remember picking up anything... Did I resent? Did I pick up anything like that? Sonic blooms, strange berries, odd leaf. Where are the notes in your pocket? How can I find it if you're a ghost or something, or you keep teleporting around like a jerk? I'm gonna save again. Oh yeah, I'm saving again because this is confusing me. Nope, it's just the evil guy. He's planning something to fool. Uh, okay, if the translation is going to translation. This entry is rendered illegible in a note added to the margin. No, the ritual must not be completed like this. Another. Instead, we must. Another entry was deleted here in a note added to them, but that was close to nearly ruined everything. I've scattered the various screens by the kings to get rid of them once and for all. I have to reconstruct the order in which the ingredients are to be used. 
But first I have to take care of something else. I sealed the entrance of the cave in from a draft. The normal text continues here. It forms the entrance of meta magic, the non guild components. Lesson of the correct sequence. Death lies in the first stone to the north, followed by. That blasted weakling is actually trying to stop me. I've torn the note out of the book in the hope that you will not be able to find it and hinder my plans. Okay, so I'm going to look around to see if there's a body or something. Older? What is this? Is this just leaving the cave? Where... Oh, this movie is just back outside. Yeah, that's it. I mean... I wonder if... Would Nottle know anything about this? Maybe he does. Have you spoken with Master Recorium yet? Were you in the cave? Yes, a magician is performing a strange ritual in the cave. A ritual? That must be it. The ritual is keeping the Matrix in place. You have to finish it so I can escape. That's all, huh? Okay. That may be the, the exit area, not the, um... Not somewhere I need to go. I thought I could ask him about it, but maybe not. Uh... Note in my pocket. Magician's notebook. I'm going to look around the cave again. I've tolerated it long enough. That's the only uh, marker, I, uh, task marker I have. So let's wander around the cave and see. Because if we can't find his body, then, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't know how to do the ritual. I, and I barely know how to do the ritual now. Those, those instructions were complicated. I hope his body isn't outside the cave. That would be very uncomfortable for her. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's a button to highlight all interactable objects. So we don't have to search for anything. It just like highlights, it lights up. Because Neverwinter Nights had that. It was very useful. Um, no. I don't see anything that looks like a body or bones. Unless it's outside. If I were a wizard's carcass, where would I be? Hmm. When we first spotted the good guy, alleged good guy, at the entrance. So... I think that's where he did? Did he... I really hope these bones are not, like... scattered to the four winds of this entire map and not um, just here. Because now that I'm thinking about it, there was another quest in this game where we uh, we also found we had to find some bones of a dead uh, priestess, I think. And they were in multiple locations in the Overbrook map, and we had to go out to find them and then go back into the dungeon, which was very annoying. Bones, bones, bones. Maybe we'll accidentally put it back in correctly. Who knows? Notes. Hmm. You know, I'm not seeing any dead wizard. Unless it's really, really well hidden. Like pixel 
like a tiny, itsy bitsy little impossible to see thing. find our way back into that ritual chamber. What do you want? Is that it? Yes, it is. Take a look again. After many years of arcane study, I know certain of my findings. The formula that has fallen into my hands must be the secret of the unknown master. My endless privations will be rewarded at last. To walk the path of immortality, one must embrace the realm of the eternal and cast aside all that is weak and contingent. So I think the evil god in this universe is called the Nameless One, or the Nameless God. So maybe that's what he means by the unknown master. It is hardly surprising that this ritual was long forgotten. I had to scour the entire continent to find the necessary ingredients. I visited Al Anfa, Fountlin, Firin, Mariscon, and even the terrible Combe Desert. After suffering incredible hardship, I discovered the essences of life, death, rapture, renewal, and stupefaction. In doing so, I have accomplished a task that would challenge even the greatest of magicians. But the Stone Circle is the most important of my discoveries. It is a secret that I alone possess. It is a twofold dual circle. Only inside a circle such as this can a rift be opened between the spheres. The ritual must be carried out at the appropriate time and must be completed without disturbance. In order to protect my secret, I have secured the upper circle with numerous traps. Praised by the Hycened and those that foolish toll keepers seldom stray inside of here. Now all I have to do is decipher the formula and determine the order in which the components must be placed on each of the five stones. I believe I must begin at the largest and most powerful of the stones to the north, and follow the circle around to the right. If my translation is correct, the secret is hidden within these verses. Life and death lie furthest apart and yet so near, neither is neighbor to the flower of Mariscon. The berry brings renewal, but berries do not flourish in the deserts of Kohn. Rapture comes from Al-Anfa, stupefaction follows capture, rapture, and comes from Mariscon. The tuber brings death, death, the leaf gives the, the gift of life. Life originates in Phyron, which follows after Fountlin. At last I have deciphered the correct sequence of the ingredients. Death lies on the first stone to the north, followed by... No, the ritual must not be completed like this. Instead, we must... Another entry deleted, close where ruin everything. Cave, must be an intruder. The non-guild components of this spell, in particular the unique stone circle, require special attention. Its dual nature reflects the flow of arcane energy, much like a mirror, and can change the flow of these currents in any direction. This could cause certain problems that are of particular concern to me. The ritual could be reversed if... Hmm. Now, does that mean we should put life in the top stone and then work from there? Or do we put death in the top stone and work left instead of right? Hmm. Where is the north stone? I guess, um, so this should be north, but is it, like this right here, Yes. Come. is north. Let's go! Actually, get out of here, guys. This, this happens all the time, where you have to do a puzzle and your party just gets in the way. Like, this is north, I think? Because this would be, I guess, 
north on the map, but is it the right north one or the left north one? Hmm. I guess I'm going to do this one. So, life is in Firun. An odd leaf. Rare herb. Let me check this again. Uh, the berry brings life and death lie furthest apart and yet so near. Neither is neighbor to the flower of Mariscon. Berry brings renewal. Rapture. Deserts. Life and death lie furthest apart, yet so near. The tuber is death. So I'm going to try to put the tuber in the south position, I guess. If that's north, then this would be south, isn't it? But with this, like, it really... These aren't lined up exactly on compass points, which is annoying. So do they mean... So the tuber... Let me save here. Of death. Should go... Here, I guess? This thing of life. I wonder if it's edible. I better not try it. Okay, so that's death. I wonder what happens if I just do it wrong and don't get either one, the good or evil, correct. Berry runes renewal, but berries do not flourish in the desert. Life and death lie furthest apart yet so near. Neither is neighbor to the flower of Mariscan. Flower. So the flower and the tuber are not it. So the berry, I guess, is correct? Actually, now I'm wondering, do they mean this is north? Or do they mean this? God, God. All right, I'm going to put the berry here. All right, so... Flower of Mariscan. Rapture comes from Alantha. Stupefaction follows Rapture and comes from Mariscan. So Mariscan cannot be. Actually, this can't be right because. The flower of Mariscon is going to have to go into one of these. And that would put it neighbor to these things. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Let's take this out. talk to you, sir? No? Okay. Alright, let's try this being north. But no, it's, it's gonna work out that way anyway. If, if these guys are the correct ones, 
Maybe the flower is the life-giving one, and the berries aren't? The berry brings renewal. So that would be... Oh yeah, renewal is different. Okay. Renewal, uh, renewal and life are separate things. Okay, so I'm going to put the tuber back over here. Oh, is maybe, the, maybe this is it. Is this the south one? This seems the closest to what could be called the south one. So I'm going to put the tuber here. Berry brings renewal, so the berry isn't life, the tuber isn't life. Rapture is Al Anfa. Berries are not it, the tubers are not it, the flower is not it. So, berries, flower, tuber. So it's either an odd leaf or a rare herb. I'm going to do the, the leaf. One that is closest to north. I guess would be this one. I'll put the leaf in there. Okay, so we've reversed the first and the, the north and the south stones, I think, if I'm getting in the right cardinal direction here. So that life is in the north and death is in the south. Which is strange because on the map screen that they show occasionally, they show Boron with the N highlighted as north, Boron the god of the dead. And, f uh, um, no, no, they show Firun the god of the nor uh, north, ah, the god of the north, the god of life as north. But I don't remember what's the sound, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, life originates in Fire Room, which follows after Fountland. Fountland? Uh, the two bird runs dead, Rapture comes from Alantha. Stupefaction. Follows rapture. The flower of Mariscon. Stupefaction follows rapture. Okay, so stupefaction is the flower. Renewal. Would renewal come before life or after? Keep the berries there. Infinita. 
Satana, Elemental Power, Vita Eterna, Power of the Spheres, Soul Split. He's done. I feel the transformation. Just one more moment. And... What? What happened? Where am I? What's wrong? Did I shrink? And what are these strange clothes? Er, uh, what have you done? Uh -oh. Cursed flesh! You put the components in the wrong order! We are trapped in the oh, body no. of a boy! Help! Get out of my head! Oh, what an interesting problem. I need to study this in private. Whoops. Transversalis. Wait! No! Teleport! Whoops-a-doodle. Okay, maybe that's a reload. Because I did not intend for that to occur, and I may need to look up what the order of things I need to put in here is. Oh boy. Okay. So... We're going... Life in the North. Death in the South. Hmm. See, like, right here, exactly, like, precisely here would be more normal. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. Life in the North. in the kind of, sort of, south. I think. Maybe. Well, I remember it said, uh, Rapture comes from Al-Antha. Stupefaction follows Rapture. So there should be Rapture, then Stupefaction. more of a pentagram, or a pentagon shape, I mean, than a, uh, I guess if it's five things, it can't be points of a compass, really, but I'm going to leave life in that one. Life and death, the third support, the third one, the third. Rapture comes stupefaction, follows from the two runs death, the leaf gives the gift of life. And I did put the leaf in there, right? Yeah, that is the leaf, the gift of life. Hmm, what is renewal? What was from Fountland? Let's see, uh... So Fire Run is the leaf. The flower is Mariscan. Mar 
maybe the berries are from something? This should be a flower, and this a rare herbal. Alright, let's try it again. Maybe I put them in the same order, I just don't remember. Have you arranged the components? Did you go? What? What? What's wrong? Same thing. Uh, help! Oh. Wait, tell up! Okay, it's time to look it up. Okay, let's see if this is correct. Berry blooms. Herb tuber. not exactly what I wanted. Okay, let me take a look at this again. According to the, the guide I read, it says to start at the northwest corner of the largest stone. Is this northwest to anyone? This would be northeast. This is north, northwest, uh, northwest, northeast. So, leaf, berry, bloom, herb, tuber. Have you used What happened? What's wrong? Uh, help! Oh, wait. wait! Oh, come no. on!
you. Thanks be to his sin, he is oh gone. Oh god, some things shouldn't be shared. As old Rohal said, when you stare deep into your soul, eventually it stares back. Very clever of you to arrange the components in the opposite sequence. That reversed the ritual. The stones above ground are no longer charged with magical energy. If you're interested, you obviously have a good understanding of magical processes. Here, right. take this ring. It's very helpful when engaged in magical matters. Well, I think I'll dedicate my time to different research in future. Maybe I'll go back to dissecting small animals. Maybe big ones. Ah, farewell. Transversalis teleport. I called major bullshit on this, this quest here. First off, the fact that these things are not directly at north, that annoyed me. I, apparently the large stone was supposed to represent north as part of life. So I should have guessed that. And then the meaning that these the life and death were farthest apart doesn't mean they were geographically farther apart because these are right next to each other. It means that they are in size of the stone if they're farthest apart. Which, um, yeah, that's, that's just lovely, isn't it? This whole quest was a big disaster. I, I really didn't care for it. I mean, maybe I'm just salty because I did such a bad job with it, but... I don't know. This this was not really my kind of fun. I prefer the dungeon diving and so forth to figuring out a riddle that was listed in an ancient book and putting something in order. I guess I could have just left with the guy trapped in Noddle's body, but... Oh, well. I looked it up. I, it's the first time I've really had to look anything up. Besides maybe a map in this game. Okay, and Noddle is gone. He just ran off. Okay, so... I guess we'll just go back and see if he's turned up with his master there. I was concerned about not fa uh, not failing this quest because I worried if the magician became a merchant, if we succeeded, and he wouldn't if we didn't succeed. And I may want to buy some stuff from him. Let's see if I can identify this ring. I can, because I have a good arcane lore skill. High vitality, nice. Hope it doubles it again. Yes, it does. Or does it? Oh, no. That's pretty good. That, that's actually a really good gift. Ten extra hit points is massive in this game. So, okay, I, I wasn't thrilled about that mission, uh, because the end involved... Reading comprehension, I guess, you could say. Although, uh, riddle comprehension might be a better way to put it. Let's go talk to uh, this guy about his... new recruit. See if we get some Greetings. stuff. Did you get the book from that useless boy? Oh, you can keep that rubbish. What would I want with it? I just wanted to make sure he didn't have it. Maybe now he'll come to his senses. Well, things can only get better. My thanks for your help. Here, take a few coins for your troubles. Was there anything else? Nope, that was it. Eh, it wasn't much of a quest. Uh, let's talk to the Archmage. Aha! I'm back again! And there's, uh... Uh... Not all! <laughs> Yes, I managed to free him. Oh, thank you, Cinder! I thought I'd have to get another one. <laughs> well, shall we be on our way? This time, we, we should make it to Havina. I hope Prince Benin won't be too annoyed by the delay. Get ready then, and... Uh... But Master, what about our research material? Surely we can't just leave it here. Oh, oh yes. Okay. We should take that with us, shouldn't we? Come along then, Nottle. Transfer service! Wait a moment, Master. I still need to thank these people for saving me. Here, this might come in handy on your travels. You just need to be careful that... Teleport! Mm, looks like that's settled then, doesn't it? Uh, yes. No traveler, no toll. Seems pretty clear to me. Come on, let's go for an ale. Okay, that did not end how I expected it. That better be a darn good potion. This potion has impressive magical effects on the body. 
it is as yet still in the embryonic stages. Unknown and not always the same. Arbitrary. I am going to save and then drink it. Nautilus Potion bonus. Hmm. Maybe it increased my endurance or something? Hmm. Not sure what that did. Maybe it doesn't do anything whatsoever. So we didn't get a whole lot from that, except we did get a tiny bit of money and uh, some experience. But really we needed money more than experience, to be honest, and we didn't get a whole lot from that, so it wasn't super useful. So I think we better go check what can I do for you? lady Where are we going? sent to the pirates. Let's see what she has to say. And maybe if we won't go back to the elves, they'll tell us we can go back to the ruins or something, or I don't know. Maybe they have another quest for us. That's possible, I guess. Because I didn't think to go back really to the same place again. Yes? re it to the it? party. What is it then? Okay. Let's go talk to the uh, pirate queen if she's still here. I don't see the uh, noble woman we sent over here for very suspicious reasons. If she's so wealthy, why can't they pay the, the ransom? And why is she turning down a free offer for some to t someone to take care of her problem for her? There's something she's not telling us. Oh, there she is. Uh, spit on your secrets. Nice back woman, be silent. I'm glad we can show this lady. She's very excited. You sent this reptile to me. She asked me to help to free your abducted brother. Yes, the uncertain fate of my brother, Captain Thunderfist, has been very uncooperative. Even though I've done my best to appeal to her common sense. Lightning take you! Do you ever stop talking, woman? Get out of my sight! And she calls herself a pirate leader. I won't waste any more of my time on you, Edith Thunderfist. But pray to your holy whale that you never cross me again. What's the holy whale? I don't remember hearing You can hearing that smell head. people like her a mile off, even upwind, and even among liars, thieves, and pirates. What did she do that angered you so? She wanted to make a deal to get rid of her competition. And she wants her little brother dead. Yeah, I, I thought so. These are some bazooms she's got. This is a big lady. Dead? Are you sure? She told me that she wanted to free him. As sure as Sorman is dead, he must have wanted to pocket the ransom himself. Take a look in his hut in the southwest. Olwina's brother should be freed! Uh, with pleasure. I also want to know what's going on. The hut in the southwest. Okay. By the way, I just want to quickly show you this lady over here. It's a pretty good model. This is, um, the, uh, gypsy woman. Let's take a look hey, at her. Innkeeper Jadira. You? Your name sounds so exotic. Where are you from, Jadir? I'm a true Zahori. My people are a traveling people with fire in their blood. This is why I traveled the land when I was young. Now that's a good model. I take back what I said about the, uh... The I stayed system. nowhere for longer than a month and had many adventures. Sometimes I worked as a camp follower, or I sang and I danced. <laughs> and then I met Rumpo and followed him here. The old innkeeper had just died, so I took over the business. Now they play the music that I want to hear. I, I do enjoy that you can buy... Uh, oh, that's Rumpo, by the way. The, uh... Charismatic ah, ladies' man. my savior. Who has a magic ring that makes women think he's irresistible. Fantastic. Uh... Yeah, let's head out and see if we can free her brother. I don't remember any specific hut that she's talking about. There are a bunch of random buildings in this uh, pirate settlement. Usually when I think of pirate settlement, I think of the tropics, but this is, uh, oh, forest hut. Huh. Okay. So... Hmm. Not sure how I get there. 
but I imagine there was some sort of trouble along the way. That, that lady knees back was trouble with a capital T. There was something peculiar going on with her. I saved a dis uh, uh, an alcohol distillery from being destroyed by trolls earlier, and pretty much the only reward I got was like one bottle of liquor. That seems like a kind of... Nope, that's not the right way. It's going to be actually be by the distillery. It's kind of a sad reward. I think I vaguely remember the uh, place she's talking about. Way, way off in the distance. Okay, there we go. It seems fitting to have a bear with us out here. I just wish I could get like a tiger or a cat as my uh, summon. Uh, if only. Just anything but that baboon mire lurk. Not mire lurk, it's called a mire whatever it is, creature, mire beast. You have anything more for me to stay? Greetings! You're just in time. Here, this little tipple is for you. Pure and finest quality stuff. Thank you. Good luck with the moonshine or quality schnapps. Just basic alcohol, and it's like it's it's alcohol for alchemy. It's not even drinkable. Like he's giving us like horrible wood alcohol that World War II Russian soldiers would blind themselves by drinking. All right, let's see what's going on down here. There he is. Oh, and there's a, there's a fight down here. Yep, I thought so. Huh? What are you doing here? Just a minute. You... You just did Stormin' in! You'll regret that! Come on, boys! Attack! Well, it was kind of like weeks ago, but yeah, sure. I mean, I guess I... I just... <laughs> uh, 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 did a, quite a bit of damage there. I hope they're... Uh, oh, no! Armor is going to be yeah, make sure we're these guys. They didn't do anything to us. They, they didn't even crack our armor. Are you another lackey of that nefarious iron taste? Do the gods plan my end? My name is Corvus. Thunderfist sent me to release you. Captain Iron Taste is dead. Praise be to Ta. Many of my companions have died at his hand. I feared to hear Golgari's wings myself, but my prayers were answered. Another thing, your sister got a ransom demand and traveled here personally. What? Owena is here? I... I had already escaped two of her bounty hunters, but now I'm a prisoner here. Please, by the gods, help me. What do you suggest? When my father, may he rest in peace, handed the business over to us, he had Leonardo the Mechanicus create two music boxes that Elwina doesn't like to share. She wants sole control. Give her my timepiece and tell her I'm dead. If the gods wish it, I will escape. You take these ten ducats? I don't think so. I may be a druid, but I ain't no paladin. How can you just leave half of your inheritance to that woman? My life is worth more to me. I can only recommend you stay away from her. She is completely unscrupulous. Thank you. Farewell. Farewell. Okay. So, these guys have anything good? And silver emblems. I wonder if selling... Because we sold the silver emblems earlier, but I wonder if... Selling them... Nets us the same money as turning them in. I'd have to check that. I think you said we get five dollars per item. Uh, form, I should tell Elif. Okay. And, and presumably um, Lady Niesbeck will be there. I kind of wanted um, the uh, giant pirate lady to become a uh, recruitable character, but I don't think that she is. She would probably drastically increase our survivability if we just made, like, my character become really good at lockpicking or something. Because You dare appear before us? You are responsible for the death of Zephyra Bloodblade. Now your blood will lead us to the Dark Goddess. Okay, this this involves me murdering an evil Amazon lady uh, earlier on in the game. I was, this is very unexpected. 
I don't know how strong these Amazons are. Hopefully not that strong. Okay, I'm glad I have my uh, protection. Okay, my bleeding. That was, uh, that was surprising. I don't know why she said appear before us. That, that makes it sound like we just wandered by or something. I think that lady was already dead, yet still played the sound from her, um, uh, the bleeding effect taking damage. So she took, like, extra damage after death, apparently, which is kind of funny. Let's see here. I mean, it would kind of be annoying to get rid of Kino. Because he does disarm traps. Although traps in this game are annoying, and, and they are in all of Neverwinter Nights 2 as well. Uh, Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2. Because they are marked on the ground, but they're usually positioned in an odd place where you're, the AI will force your characters to run over them if you're not careful anyway. So it's kind of, kind of a hassle to deal with, really. Did fun. you find the nice Beck brother? Yes, he made off when he heard that his sister was here. Ha <laughs> ha! Well done! We value freedom like the wind, not like slave traders and their blood money. Come, drink with me! Thank you, Aleph Seeger's daughter. To freedom! Cheers! May the wind smile on you. You talk to her again, then. Greetings, Bice, Wapner, comrade in arms! I'd like to ask you something else. Then ask! Uh, what was all that about a shipwreck? My there? last adventure with Bjorn ended with my dragon ship sinking on the Great River, together with all the treasure. My Maris are the last thing I remember on the islands in the mist. And what are your plans for the future now? Back to the sea where the real adventure lies. I must win more fame before I can return to home waters. Okay, that's pretty neat. Thought there might be another quest here, but whatever. So I think I'm uh, about ready to get to the point where I'm closing down the video. Because uh, this has gone on for quite some time, but I do want to quickly drop by one more character. Just to show him off, because I think he's really adorable. He is a uh, Dwarven priest. Who works for a character called the River Father. Or a character of God or demi -God. I'm glad you came out of that Oh, part. What can I do for you? Where we go? And he's just amazing. I haven't spoken to him in a while, so I want to see what he has to say. Yes. What is it then? What is it? And just look at this guy. He is the most adorable Lord of the Wars I've ever seen in my life. I mean, look at him. Look at his giant beard and his bare feet and his robes. I wish... Oh, this guy is so adorable. I wish I was an adorable. How can the River Father's voice help you? Not a real-life little person. I mean a, a fantasy dwarf. I killed a Kraken Newt in the toll gate. I found this fragment in its lair. I thought it might be important. Wow, that was a long while ago. I should have come back sooner. Let me see. Oh, holy great mother. So that's it. Oh, great river father. Why draw me into your dispute with the fathomless one? How can we mortals withstand his fury? I don't understand. What are you talking about, Brother Emeran? I... Forgive me. My feelings overcame me. Only now do I understand the consequences of your actions. This artifact opens the doors to the temple. Since this place was destroyed in a feud between the two gods, Ethard's fury has seethed in its depths. The old god has never forgotten the humiliation visited upon him by the River Father. The anger of the Ocean God is like a relentless maelstrom. It swallows everything, even the brightest light, 
and spits it out again as darkness. This darkness climbs from the depths of the temple and poisons the river. It lures foul monsters that mock the power of the river father in his own realm. Creatures like the Kraken Newt. Yes, like the Kraken Newt. I know that humans had started to use it for their own dark purposes, but in the end, they were also just tools of Eppard's vengeful fury. I don't know if I understand all this. Do you think there's a reason I found this thing? The first time I saw you in Nadari, I knew your actions were linked to the will of the gods. I just did not know what role you would play. I will use the fragment to open the temple, but you must go alone. As the voice of the River Father, I am forbidden from intervening directly. Forgive me. If you think it is important that I enter the temple, then I will gladly do so. But what exactly do you want me to do? In you that? must find your way into the deep and confront that which awaits you. I can tell you no more, I'm sorry. I can only thank you for your valor. And now, follow me. Hmm. Okay, this apparently is going to go on a little longer than I thought. I also want to mention that I'm a druid, so technically I can't use any armor or weapons. Uh, not, not weapons, any armor that's made of metal. Which was in the old AD&D rules, and I think still is a part of the druid class, even in 5th edition now, probably. Unless they did something weird with the character. But I always thought that was odd, because... Doesn't that mean that you're, if you're a druid, you're destroying wood and killing animals for their leather? Wouldn't it make more sense to use inanimate things, like metal? Like, you would be... it's less respectful to use leather and wood, isn't it? Or are you contaminated by contact with that stuff? I don't know. But this shield, which I'm allowed to use, has a pretty, pretty big metal circle around it. Around the rim. Temple, temple of Ephyrd. I wasn't quite paying attention about who Ephyrd is as a god. The one god I remember from this game is Fex, the god of thieves. Maybe that says something about me, I don't know. Okay. Oh boy. There's more reading. Oh. I just picked it up. Tabitha's Journal, The River Father. The entries in this book are always overwritten with a date. Some entries concern the River Father. It's not going well. In the villages, the elders all whisper their prayers to the River Father, not to effort. And here we sing litanies to the God of the Sea. It's so simple that even the poorest devil can understand it. We're at a river here and not at the sea. So why should effort care about us here? The bodies of water belong to River Father, and it always has been that way. The old ones here all say the same thing. Maybe in Natarek, the people bend their knees to us and to the god of the sea. But I was traveling with the Deont on a sidearm. I looked up what the word Deont means, and I, I don't remember what it is. Of the great river when an arrow came flying out of the thicket and whizzed past us. They must have seen our robes with Efford's anchor around them and known right away that they would ju hit just the right ones. The river father's followers shoot arrows at the servants of the old god. What will the river father himself do if he ever gets tired of our presence on his river someday? So I guess Ephraim is the god of the sea, who is disliked by the god of, um, who is at odds, let's say, with the god of the river. Okay, so it's two water deities fighting. Some kind of puzzle thing down there, I guess. Transversalis ring. Oh, so that te that's a teleport ring. Hmm. The transverse. I I'm glad I, I did that previous mission so I could find the transversalis 
spell. I mean, should I take the ring or should I walk down? I don't... Uh -oh. That doesn't look... What is that? Is that a fire elemental or something? He doesn't look friendly. Whatever it is. I really should have come back to him immediately after killing that Kraken. But I just got distracted by other stuff. More journals. Okay, that was just the light from the journal. That was it. The Temple of the Lord of the Seas is just the same as it is with the sea itself. The most interesting things can be found at the bottom, but only the Deons are permitted on the lowest level. The Graylings have been forbidden under threat of punishment to go all the way down. During the service, I took a peek down there, but the Deons disappear into a closed-off room that I can't look into from above. Is it even right? I'm a Grayling in this gloomy temple, and I don't even know what goes on at the core. Don't the other Graylings ask themselves the same thing? In any event, the Deons cloak themselves in secrecy. It's Prios Day, and the Deons are coming back up with somber faces on their... somber looks on their faces. What is down there, what they do... what they do down there, sometimes I think that I don't want to know about it. Well, I want to know about it. Mm -hmm. I better summon my uh, animal guy. I'll quickly just check my levels to see everything is... Uh, up to par, which is another reason I don't like this system, because I kind of have to yes check things out periodically, yes. earning uh, skills by dribblings is a little odd. Axes and maces, and yeah, okay. Let's see what's down this way. This is going to be a very damp dungeon, I guess, because it's a god of water's temple. I haven't seen any enemies yet, though. Which makes me a little worried. I wonder if there are more Kraken down here. Because the last Kraken battle was very difficult. You had to kill off pieces of its tentacles first before attacking the main guy. It was kind of confusing. Hmm. There we go. I think I have something here. The game is very, very bright. There's, I've never found a need to have any light source in the game, which I guess is fine, because light sources can get really, really obnoxious. Oh, here's where all the giant crabs are that I could hopefully get enough to make whatever that thing was I don't even remember. I should have come here much earlier. Okay, whatever. But, uh... Light sources and games can be a seemingly trivial concept, but it can be difficult to work on in practice. Because it can become very irritating constantly worrying about light around you. And it rarely seems to work out perfectly. Like a Dark Souls 2 is a perfect example where it was very much hyped and it did not actually work out in practice. So, more giant key red, oh, giant crab eggs. Do I have to destroy these? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's disgusting. Oop. Yeah. Can't see. Cannot see. Okay. Yeah. And I think I'm trapped in this wall here, which is perfect. Yeah. Oh boy, I hope I don't have to reload. Yeah. It took so long to get that... That scary. Okay. And my bear is injured. I'm disgusted. Do not injure my bear. He's just being a good boy and helping us out. And, uh, tanking damage. Let's see which way. This will go this way. Yeah. I wonder why crabs are so often enemies in, in RPG yeah. games. Like I was sitting and thinking about this. Is there crabs in Fallout 4? 
there are crab monsters in Wizardry 6 and 8, and they are deadly in both of those games, depending on the crabs you find. There are crabs in this game, there are crabs in Dark Souls 3, and in Elden Ring. It's such a common enemy, and it just it doesn't feel the same as like a scorpion and a spider, because those enemies both feel like they have some sort of ancestral blood terror for humans, because of how dangerous these, these poisonous creatures are, that they just sort of linger on in our memory and instantly cause fear. But a crab just feels like nothing. It almost feels like funny to me, to be honest. And these are slugs. I mean, this isn't even... That's like the least... I mean, it's kind of gross, but it's also like the least scary thing. Morphe Cave. The Morphu drop um, poisonous barbs, but uh, their poison isn't nearly as powerful as like the ones the scorpions had. That, that was really dangerous. This is kind of like meh. And the poisonous barbs can apparently be uh, shaped into crossbow bolts, but I didn't, I didn't ever bother doing that because none of my characters used a crossbow. Uh, if, if there was ever a way to... I wish I could be a badass crossbow user somehow, but... Carrying an arbalest, I think it would work in a Souls-like game if you made the crossbow sort of like a sniper rifle, which is conceptually how some historians view the item, because it takes a long time to fire. It's very powerful as a long time, armor-piercing, and uh, it's fired very much more slowly than a quick shot, like a quick shot bow would, or a rifle in comparison to a sniper rifle. Destroy more of those eggs, and more key rabs. Come on, fist crabs. Whoa. Flank us. It's a bust of crabs. I think a crustacean is not a flank us, but here we are. Now my two big beefy fighters are barely even going to touch me. I this nice plate armor now. Thankfully. Uh... Okay, go this way. And we won't, because there's nothing there. Structural collapse. It's sort of written on the, the map, almost as if you're writing it, which I kind of like. Fastness of body. Actually, I better see if I can upgrade fastness of body. Yes, I can. And my lightning spell. Help paw. Let's see. Seven, ten, okay, there we go. And we are on a lower level now. I wonder if we should continue the upper area first before messing around with that. Hmm. Okay, I will mark the map, and I will see about going down here, but it may be nothing. It may just be another collapsed cave area. But just in case there's something there, I want to go check it out. I really haven't been doing all of my exploring in this game as much as I should be. And there could be something there. There could be items, there could be loot, there could be treasure. It could be anything. It could be nothing. I'm thinking of that teleport pad at the beginning was teleporting us out after we defeat the boss at the bottom. Yeah, this is just a blocked off area. We just didn't go far enough in it to see that. Okay. It's another structural collapse. So let's head down into the temple. This is a lot more exciting than that stupid that puzzle. I mean, I shouldn't say it's stupid. I, I did enjoy some of the the way it was written with the, the characters divided amongst themselves and two wizards fighting each other with different parts of the personality, warring one good, one evil, or one kind of good and one very evil, I should say. Okay. So 
Alright, let's head down here. I kind of assumed that uh, time would be more the focus of this game, because it's called the River of Time. But it's unclear to me what exactly time has to do with anything. Just like things from the past. Like, I wasn't saying that we should have time travel or anything, it's just seemed a little bit um, grand for this story. The, the River of Time, it's, this is a really good uh, like starting D&D &D campaign. Like, you know, your first campaign you go into at like level one and get up to maybe level yeah. seven, eight or something like that. We're on level ten now. It doesn't have the the grandness of some of the other RPGs I've played, where, you know, I felt exactly the same way about the original campaign of uh, uh, Neverwinter Nights 2. It felt like a fairly basic, decent starter campaign. And I feel like you should do more, more than that in a video game. You shouldn't be like, I'm trying to bring about the original like, basic intro quest that a character would face when playing. You should try to go for something a little bit bigger. And Mask of the C Betrayer definitely went for something bigger, which is which is pretty cool. And I think, uh, to some degree, uh, Shadows of Lundgren Tide kind of did that. But wasn't still wasn't quite as effective as it could be. Oh, I failed there. It's, I think they're setting their horizons a little bit too low. If you, if, you know, your goal was to say, like, I'm going to do the starting adventure module for a level one character, it's like, okay, yeah, but we're, we're expected to spend, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 hours with this game. Is that really all we're going for? Shouldn't we go for something a little bit bigger, a little bit more cosmic? That's why I love the Wizardry 8 so much, because, you know... It, well, one of the things you were doing was just so titanic and huge and even so powerful at the end. You were literally shaping the destiny of the cosmos with your actions. And in uh, uh, Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer, you were warring against the wishes of a deity and asking yourself, is it just that the gods would behave like this towards men? Is it right? For them to do this to men? Should we change the entire order of the universe? Is it a good idea to do that? Is it possible to do that? Can we storm heaven and change the way the gods make their justice? Like, these are huge things, not like, I've got caught blimey, a group of orcs are attacking the local inn, gov. Now we gotta do something about it. You know, it just seems kind of dull in comparison. Or it seems like you, you shouldn't be spending 40 hours playing this basic ass system. Transversalis Ring. Okay, let's see if this takes us back upstairs quickly, and then probably we're gonna just pop right back. Yeah, this just took us back upstairs, so we can leave if we need to. So that's nice. So this is probably a huge dungeon. Okay. I thought the uh, the issues at stake were going to be a little bit more water god associated anyway, so I was, I'm glad I came back here instead of just rushing to the end. That would have been a huge mistake. Okay, where do we go? Well, you know what? Maybe I should mark that on the map. Now that I think about it. No, no, no. Don't go that way. One thing that this game inherited from uh, Neverwinter Nights 2 as well is the horrendous pathing of its characters, which always added this layer of stubborn frustration to everything that you do. Every tiny act involves that. Teleport. Okay. So let's go. It's even better, even though I upgraded it. I think the bear is better than what I would have got instead. I think later on we're supposed to get a gigantic beetle that might actually have more hit points than the bear, so when that happens, I'll do it. Mm, 
some water that way. Kind of like the uh, seafoam green or turquoise color of these walls. It looks kind of neat. You got it? Okay, here we go. I think, I think if the characters get stuck on something too much, they are programmed to like just teleport to where you are. So you can't get, you can't lose them forever. Can we come this way? Maybe we can this, come this way? Hmm. Not sure which way we came from. Oh, I guess we came from there. Right? Hmm. We're getting lost already. Which is a good sign, that's a good dungeon. Hmm. No, I don't think I did come this way. Did I? Huh. Was the back area just... Did I just miss it again? Or was it, like, ruined because of flooding or something? That's weird. Okay, I'm like slug. Crab eggs. Oh no, it's a morphine. That's the crab eggs. It must be sticky and gross to destroy giant crab eggs. That would be really gross. I, I think the one thing keeping me from being an, a medieval adventurer, aside from the fact that I'm not in the Middle Ages and adventures like that probably didn't exist ever, is um, the grossness of being an adventurer. Like, imagine getting orc blood all over you, staining your body and fighting. But imagine how horrible and icky that would be. Like, the orc factor is really good in your back for you. Uh, uh, a quest in with uh, Gandalf and Aragorn. Uh, 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 oh boy. Our bear is dead. He's not as cool as I thought. I can't get a boot and a strike in this. I think the dagger that I got um, is now. Uh, he's got a lot of crabs. Get that. Summon that bear, please. I think the axe that my dwarf guy is using has some sort of like chance to wound an opponent, which is actually really good. It's very useful. I wonder what would have happened if I came back here when I was much lower level. It was sort of much, much harder. Or does the game scale the levels to you? I don't I'm not even sure. You do your bleeding is very good. That actually gets some good damage. That's really good. I owe it all to my armor. That's really what's been saving me. Yeah! regenerate health, mana, and endurance pretty quickly in between battles, which is probably for the best. I think for a game like this, it would be a little bit tedious after a while to um, be like the old gold box games where you literally had to rest like months in order to recover your uh, your health and just get your, your, your spells back. I think we can just kind of take that as red as players, you know, without going through the arduous task of slowly recovering everything. Unless you can, you know, maybe you can design the game around that and make it not as frustrating as it would be, but I don't know okay, how you, go. you would do that. Nope. No, I'm not even going to bother. Oh. Is this a dead end? It very well might be. Let's continue down the stairs. Oh, wait, no. There's another area. Uh -huh. I take it there's more giant crabs in here. Not the most thrilling enemy, but probably easy to program, because everyone knows what a crab looks like, and it's easy to do, and you don't really have to go through the laborious process of designing a new monster type. You can just Google a crab and here you go. Copy that and copy that one. I shouldn't say that. I'm 
underestimating the skill and talent of uh, game designers there. Of course, it's much more complicated than that. These are kind of weird looking crabs. Maybe there's a crab that actually looks like this with these ridges on its back. But it just feels a little bit dull than just some basic monster. I think in the old AD and D monster manual like that, there is actually some sort of humanoid crab creature. Like from like from South Park, you know, crab people. Walk like crab, talk like people. Or uh, taste like crab, talk like people. Yeah. We're barely getting hurt at all. We're getting some injuries here and there, but that's about it. I, I don't know now that I think about it if Balm of Healing actually heals injuries or not, if it's just hit points. Hmm. Oh, my bear is injured. This poor bear is down here. For some reason, I think it said that a black bear was stronger than a brown bear, which is the opposite of the real world. Brown bears are bigger and stronger. I don't know why they did that. Maybe there aren't a lot of bears in Germany. I, I, I don't know. Okay. Um, let's go up here. Yeah. And no. I have been looking more into playing the Realms of Arcania games, but it's very complicated. Like, even just creating characters was confusing to me. Like, I was getting... I was getting burned out just, just creating the darn characters, because it was so huge, and had so many skills and spells, and so many points to put into things that I didn't know if they were useful or not, or... Spells I should put what like, points into. It's it's not like I have an easy frame of reference like Dungeons and Dragons. Where it's like Fireball. I know that's useful. I'm gonna get that. Or Summon Monster. I know that's useful. Okay. Well, I don't know if my knight guy here is Haldo is using that much of a good weapon to be honest. It, it's not like a really cool weapon like the. Uh, Maybe that's under causing him to do underwhelming damage compared to what he's capable of, but oh well. Oh, there's another one over there. Come here. I mean, should, I mean it, this feels like you're just wandering yeah. around with a giant, giant salt shaker, just killing slugs in a garden. It doesn't feel like. Yeah. Adventurers, you know, that there's that line at the beginning of um, Dragon Age Origins where they go and kill some rats, and it's just like this is the beginning of every bad adventure ever. Oh, oh bleeding damage, yes. I forget who has their, the bleeding damage, because I didn't do my bleeding attack, so maybe one of these guys will have bleeding damage. What about Kano? 25% oh, chance of wounds, nice. Yes. And no, that's a good weapon that we got from the evil Amazon ladies. And 50% chance of wounds. That must do some kind of wounding ability. Don't know exactly who's immune to that wounding. I assume that golems and maybe undead are immune to that. But we haven't fought undead in a while. Which is unfortunate, because I, I really like to fight them. They're pretty much my favorite enemy. Okay, where are we going? I think that's a dead end, maybe? And okay, let's go down here. Smash some crab eggs. Yeah. Oh, can you eat crab eggs? I wonder. Oh, we're going down again. I think. Doesn't seem to be in another map though, it's still on the same map. I should I mean I wish I could have a little bit of diversity and have the uh, the female character here and you know using her arrows instead of just everyone going melee, but it's just not worth it. I, I do want to stay alive. I did I didn't really test out much of the um Ooh, this is like a more of a temple area. I don't really test out a lot of the major, uh, the... Ooh, this is a new map. Oh, and it says structural collapse here, so I guess we have to go this way. 
and it automatically marks this line up. Okay. And we have another uh, transport ring. Good. And we are back down to where we were. Good. And there was another book we can go check out. Now, getting involved in a warring dispute between gods of the river and gods of the sea. Oh, we can't get that. That's, that's a cool idea for a story. Finding pirates and, you know, getting involved in shenanigans with the Imperial House. That's kind of, uh, you know, I don't know. That's, that's not so spectacular for me. More giant crab eggs. Feels like at least some of these levels could be uh, cut. Because there's just a lot of killing of crabs and slugs on the way down here. And as you may have noticed, they don't drop anything, which is a big issue. Though. The economy in this game is very finicky. And you could be without necessary money in a lot of different stages. I'm not saying it's bad. That's actually more or less a good thing for a game to have an economy that is um, not overloaded with junk. But uh, maybe it feels like I could, I could use a little bit more money. Oops, whoa, I'm getting kind of low on health there. And yes. so is my road. Do you have... Uh, here we go, use one of these health potions. Or one more potions. I did not find any health potions in it because I did not know I was going to be going on a huge mission like this, so that's not so good. But these crabs could be too tough. I would say as I'm very near death. Drink, drink that potion. Okay, there we go. We just saved, so it's not a huge deal if we die, but. Okay, for the Emperor! Oh, these crowds are not happy. I'm almost dead. Yes. Uh... What do you want? Everybody use a potion. Oop, dead. Perfect. At least my dwarf guy is still Okay, attack! On guard! Maybe if I should reload. These guys are both wounded too. My, my fighter, my melee guys are wounded. Well, I guess he's a melee guy too, but he's a thief. He's not really good. Yes. Wait, what? Ring up. Too many crabs. I gotta reload. Fortunately, I just saved. Okay, I did not have my fastness of body on, did I? Okay. Let's try again to kill these pew rams. These crabbies, crabby patties. And I'm gonna summon now so I can get my mana back really quick. Waiting for that mana to come back. Okay. Okay. okay, they're going over to attack. Hopefully they will not immediately charge me, which honestly is the smart move to do to instantly attack the uh, spellcaster, who is clearly the best maneuver in almost any fight. But, um, it's not so good for me if they do that. Oh, for goodness sake. I got, I got another one. Can I run away from them? 
Yeah. That crab may be coming back for me. Yeah. I'm gonna try to kill these crabs as quickly as we can. That he seemed to take damage from that attack before the animation for the lightning spell finished, which is kind of funny. He was taking bleeding damage though, which is nice. Oh boy, Kanan was dead. Hold on. Hmm. A healing potion for you. There's any lightning I could use. See, they all go off to fight their own individual targets, but the best thing to do is to try to gang up on one enemy at a time. And you have to be careful to re-task them to do that, and if they don't, that they're they're just gonna die. And then maybe my mage it's good that they're attacking one because he can kind of lead one of them away. Well, they all attack this one guy. Uh, there we go. I have... Was that three wounds? Oh, good. Okay. Everybody, attack... This crab. And my bear is dead. I just noticed that. I didn't even pay attention to him. I may have to leave this place and go out and get new uh, new um, potions and things, or else I may perish. Where? Is my dwarf dying? Oh, he's dying too? Maybe because of the wounds. Oh no. Yeah, I may have to do this. Yep, I have to do this again. Ah. Hopefully those guys won't move. Oh no, they're they're coming over here. This, oh my god! I'm going. I'm going. Uh, okay, hold on. I think they won't move if I set them to defensive mode. Maybe. All right. Now stay here, all of you. Are they coming? Oh god, they are. Jesus. Uh, I can't get them to stay. Okay. I'm trying to separate the crabs into different groups by leading them out along here. But that is not easy. Let's see if I can try to run away. Which really doesn't seem likely. Because they're immediately turning to attack. And I don't know if they're going to do that in defensive mode too. So, no, no, no. No, we're running. Yep, we're running now. Okay. Now see if you can fight them like this. Maybe this will be a little bit easier. Yes. Maybe it'll be harder, because they actually... They, they said the last time I tried this that there was no room for them to fight if you get them too close together. Jeez. 
special you have to be. Might as well try to keep this guy alive because he's a good meat shield. Even yes. if really he's just here to open locks and traps, that's that's basically what he's doing. healing potion. Crap. Oh my god, I die. Uh, and I can't be revived. Yeah! Uh, and also, I can't access this stuff in my inventory, either. Bring him! Too many key revs. Hey! Attack! Where what do you, you want? Haha! Haha! -ha. Uh, yes? yes? Did the uh, the emu thing from Family Guy there? Lovely. Ready. Ready. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh. On guard. And one of them is dead. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Hmm? yes. Oh boy, that's another reload. So after I talked a lot of smack about this dungeon allegedly being easy, I was humiliated by crabs, man's deadliest opponent, multiple occasions. So I had to leave and go get a bunch of new potions, and spend a lot of money, get some new armor. My druid guy looks more like a old-fashioned 1920s football player with all this leather in his helmet here, but it'll keep him alive, maybe. At least keep him alive a little bit longer against these, uh, these deadly crabs. And, uh, because I had to get a bunch of potions, of course what I had to do was go and pick a lot of plants up from the ground, you know? I had to do a bunch of gardening. Because, you know, I mean, obviously, when you think of fantasy adventures, you want to do things you can't do in real life, like slay dragons, uh, fight an orc war, 
and, you know, of course, do gardening and get plants for many hours. I mean, you know, we can't get those fabulously rare and unusual things called gardens in the real world, so I had to go pick uh, some more plants. And, uh, you know, I did some more quests, and I realized that basically every one of the areas that I've been to, the game does the thing where they, later on in the game, you can go back to those same areas and get new quests, which I hadn't thought of, because, to be honest, it's actually kind of annoying when games do that, and I don't really like it. Uh, I think it's kind of lazy, you know, even when it was done in, like, Silent Hill 4, just using the same areas again. I'm, I'm sure that from a design standpoint, it makes things very easy and very straightforward and, you know. But anyway, um, I found it to be uh, a little bit annoying. Not that the quests were bad or anything, it's just they were re using the same areas and the same people. Anyway, let's go see if we can fight these crabs. I now have more health potions and endurance potions for my dudes. I'm only going to give them to my warrior guys. My thief guy can't really do anything. I don't know if I can really do anything with them. Maybe... I mean, he has a bunch of points I could spend. I can get his health up a little bit. And, um... Get his fencing... Oh, no, I guess I can't. But I'm not really super clear on all of this... Excuse me, all of this, um special attack stuff. I have been using the things for the fighters, like the Hammer Strike, which has been really good to kill orcs very fast and to hammer down ogres. So, we're gonna go out here and see what we can do against these crab guys, because uh, they're really just absolutely shredding me. And also, I think before we do that, I'm going to use... Um, attribute Constitution. I actually did get the Attributio spell eventually uh, for when uh, difficult fights like this come up. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but we're going to find out. Uh. Oh boy, the crabs have found us. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go, crabs. Try to all hit the, the hey. one crab. I'm going to use Hammer Strike. Yes! Uh. Hammer strike. I pledge obedience. Ready on call. Um, what should you do? Uh, yeah, precision strike. Aha! I don't know. I'm gonna try, try to help out. And I'm going to try to put one of the crabs to sleep, if that is possible. I don't know if this works on crabs. Maybe it does not. Uh, but we're gonna find out. Um, okay. Ball of lightning. They're still not doing that much damage against these crabs. Well, no, I guess I guess they're not terrible. My this crab formation. quickly, and they can move on to this one. This is a lot of crabs to fight at one point. There are uh, the players can set traps in these games. Um, however, what did they not do any damage to them? Yes. I thought I both set said they should hit us. That's weird. I'm already wounded. The fact that these guys cause wounds is terrible. And I do have wound powder. What I found out before with the previous battle is I'm pretty sure that if you reach... Um... Five wounds, you just... you die. Or you, you go down and look like you're about to die pretty much. Yes? Attack yeah. Them, yes. and use hammer strike. Yes. Both of you use hammer strike. For the emperor. My wounds seem to have not gone away, which is very annoying. Oh boy. I wish I could do a little bit more with my uh, druid guy here. I might mean, know he's not technically a druid. Maybe that's annoying with some of the lore purists, but I kind of view him sort of druid-ish. Oh god. Uh, hmm. Can I use wound powder on my guy there, or no? No, it doesn't look like it. Does he have heal wounds? Oh, he does have treat wounds. Does treat wounds affect also the injuries with the wound powder? Or is that just for using bandages? I'm not sure about that. Okay. I'm going to give you some. 
VP regeneration for 10 minutes. Maybe I should have done this before. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. Okay. Uh, take the lozenges to try to get um, regeneration. And I can, at the very least, maybe help out with a lightning thing. These guys really are just not... All that affected by my lightning. My is beard no, he can't do hammer strike yet. Maybe because he's wounded, his uh, little goes up level. Ooh, there we go. Oh no, wait, we do have a hammer strike. Attack formation. Nice. Hey. Not run up into the middle of the melee. Actually, this might be a good thing that he's sort of like distracting some of the crabs by having one of them run away. And I'm shocked that uh, Kano, my um, my rogue guy, is still alive somehow. Yes. Oh god, he's got two wounds now. This is what I was worried about. Quick, yes. Yeah. Can you use the wound powder in yourself to make the wounds go away, or is that just help? Because it said just something about, like, vitality going back and not the wounds. At your orders. Oh, good lord. For the Emperor Roshan meets my axe! Everyone be careful, please. Okay. Try to hammer blow that crab. This is honestly the first battle in the game where I was actually, like, concerned about things because. It seemed to do a little bit of damage. That might have. Did that do 14 damage? With my, uh. F uh, bleeding fumble against giant crab miss. Somebody else attacked him. Okay, take the mana potion. What do you want? Hey. Uh, hammer blow. I am Grush's beard. I pledge obedience. Ready on call. Use a one berry juice, so I'm gonna waste the whole potion. I can resurrect him after the battle and see how he's going. There we go. Okay, we got two cute crabby wabs left. Yes? And, uh. One of them seems to be pretty darn injured, and we do have a hammer For the strike Emperor. There, we there we go. Got one more. And huzzah, the crabs are defeated. Thank goodness. Because that was, the, that was the hardest battle I've yet fought in this entire game. I can't believe these crabs were that hard. It's just that so many of them are in this area at once. Maybe it's done intentionally to try to... like, prevent you from going here too, too early or something like that? Okay, let me just bandage. I'm gonna have to figure out how those wounds work, because this guy had four, and like I said, I think five, and you just... doesn't matter what your age, your vitality is, you just go down. Uh, okay... I'm also wounded. I wonder if the boss at the bottom of this uh, temp uh, temple is just a giant crab. Maybe he is. I also put some points with my um, uh, with my my elf character right here, Corvus, to um, uh, animal lore, which allows me to skin animals. He, he started out with a little bit of that, but I, I never really upgraded it because it didn't seem too useful. But I had some extra points lying around, 
and getting your your points up to like a respectable level of like five or six is really fast. You know, it's like two, six, ten, or whatever it is. That's a small number of points to do. Okay. Well, there's a lot of crab eggs in here. So probably means there's more crabs, and I have no idea how many levels this area has. Or what exactly is that at the bottom here? Because I would assume this would be like the last part of the game, really. Not the... something, a side quest you can do pretty quickly. No, it doesn't look like anything over there. I also put away all of my uh, herbs and things in the storage chest at the start of... Uh, I mean, at the, uh, the boat, the Thalaria. So I was wondering if encumbrance causes some sort of difficulties with uh, health regeneration or movement or attack speed or something. I mean, I don't know if it does. I, I would have to look at the manual and check. Actually, does this game have, even have a manual? I don't know. I don't have to check the Steam page. And just some basic slides. This guy's not bad. The poison is not horrible. I assume there's some kind of, uh, maybe there's like a Lovecraftian entity down here. We did fight a gigantic creature that the dwarf was in the before called the, uh, what was it called? The Kraken something? Like the young Kraken? Kraken Jr. So maybe there's a full grown Kraken down here. Let's see if I can. Uh, the gangrene poison doesn't have a, uh, a timer on it. Seems kind of odd. These guys also have wound powder on them. Maybe I should just do that before every big battle. Just give them tons of wound powder. And then we'll just regenerate the entire time. And there's nothing up here again. Go farther down. Into the depths. But the dwarf priest guy at the, the entrance is just so adorable. I'd do anything for him. He's just amazing. With his long white beard. Okay. New level. No question mark on the map for a plot related thing. Ugh. More crab eggs. More, yet more crabs. Oh no, it's slugs. Okay. This is more kind of creepy if you were playing like a, a game that was, not, that was not an isometric style RPG. And you were uh, playing it close up like this. And seeing it in like the first person, like in an older school's game. He actually hold his own in combat against these, these guys. Yeah, that look. Excuse me. Now that I've leveled up his, uh, got some good armor, I think I got some better shoulder pads, Irian leather ones. I, I upgraded him a little bit. Got him some gauntlets and these shoulder guards. He was more kitted out officially in full plate armor. Oh, but I still can't afford the knight's plate armor, which has, uh, I believe, eight defense. Rather than the seven, which is the max in the chest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is this level? No. Oh boy. Okay. Here they come. Yeah. Yes. How many? Oh god, look at all these crabs. Hmm? Like Bring them! Garrosh attack! Right, use hammer strike. And hammer attack strike. formation! I was hoping we weren't gonna get a bajillion crabs again. Use your hammer strikes. Okay, they're all wounded. I 
wasted my electricity attack there, because, uh... My Angus is feared! For the Emperor! I don't know how to, I don't know if I should husband out and use the endurance potions and bosnia Because I don't want to not have them. If, if the basic enemies on the way there are, are this hard, how hard is the boss gonna be? I hope it's not a situation where the boss is like ridiculously easy compared to the the enemies. Yes. That's a promotion I just had. Hammer strike. Yes. And combination of doing a great job as a distraction. That's why I like it. Interesting. See, he ran over there because he knew that the enemy he disengaged the attack and ran over to somebody else because he knew the enemy was dead before the animation. What do you want? That's kinda weird. Okay. Uh, hammer strike. At your orders. Attack! Yeah. Well, one of these is almost dead, too. Kano's actually been doing not a half bad yeah. job. If I try to kill this one hand. Yes. I'm still getting wounded For the Emperor. as I'm fighting, which is dangerous. And I don't know if I can have the speed to heal it. You left that quickly. Because using the bandages in combat, if you can even really do that, is not easy. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad I started using this yeah. hammer strike. Yeah. Just the cave didn't give me any a reason to do it for a long time, so I didn't bother. Here's all the giant crabs for that recipe, uh, crab arms for that recipe, if I even end up using it. You know, I can't go that way. So... Let's heal these wounds first. Gotta remember that wound powder thing. Oh, boy, there's crabs over there, too. Um... So you have regen, I guess, during battles, which is pretty cool. Get more magic, defense. Or defense against physical attacks, but we'll spend a lot of defense against magic. I do have another spell for that, but we haven't really fought too many um, mages yet. There are a couple early on, but that was about it. The, the pirates might have had some mages. Definitely been a severe lack of uh, magical opponents. Okay. Um, yes. Ready on call. You go on there call. to try to keep them distracted. And yes. both of you hammer strike. Attack formation. Said. I will do electricity on it too. I haven't found a really good two-handed sword for my guy over here. Um, I'm not even sure if... Uh, maybe I, I had it and I sold it, but I, I don't remember seeing it in any of the shops I was using. I guess I just... I, I have a really good magical axe from that dwarf quest from um, the mine, so that's something that... I don't remember if there was a really good one-handed sword to use. But I'm a little bit loath to do that, because I think attack is something we're really lacking in this. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I have both of these guys set towards the offensive style rather than defensive. And maybe I should switch... I thought about switching over to defensive style. But I don't know if I even have the... Um, if I should use the experience points I have to get higher levels of defensive style. And I don't think either of them have a really good defensive hey. style. Let me check what that is. Yeah, he only has one, and he has two defensive combat. So maybe I should have got offensive and defensive combat maxed out for both of them. 
but that way that seems like a big that seems like it would be a big issue. I'd have to spend a lot of time on that, and I'm not really certain. I, I wasn't. I guess because I was playing a normal mode, none of the other combat encounters really challenged me up to this point, so I didn't look into how important those differences are. Wait, 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 wait. We missed that one for, that we could see by the broken area, I think. Yeah, that must be the teleport area. And we have a new journal. Okay. Deep Chambers. The wrath of effort and the wrath of the River Father. Now I've also heard it directly from the mouth of a deont. We are not wanted here, and the gods are equally at odds. What is down there is the chamber at the bottom. Oh, what is down there in the chamber at the bottom? At night it's sealed off, so I've tried to sneak down there at midday. But I always meet a deont on the stairs, and he takes me back to the midday meal. However, I've known it long since. The Deont say that things are happening in Havana that irritate effort. Yet I know better. Oh, yes. It's what's happening down there that is causing the falling out between our god of the water and the river father. That's the only reason the river is higher than usual and is always being whipped up by thunderstorms on water day. The old woman from the fishing village told me about a water dragon, a creature of the river father that is, that is said to obey him. That's how his wrath could look. I don't want to be here when the gods go to battle against each other and the dragon's paws are wrapped around our walls. I'm going to leave on the next ferry. Let someone else find out what's hiding down there. Okay, well, I guess we're going to find out. Are we at the bottom officially? Oh, I didn't even notice this urn that we can interact with. And smell. I mean, just, just reach in the urn, man. You don't need to destroy precious ancient pottery. Those um, old bronze coins, I think, fetch a good price, too. It seems like every German RPG I've, 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 I've played, including Gothic, Realms of Arcania, and this, are, the, the game is really tetchy about money, and they're very stingy about passing it on. You really have to pay a lot of attention, rather than just pouring money down the throat of other games do. I wonder if that's something about Germany or not. Probably not. Okay, and there's another uh, teleport ring. And also... something down there. Oh boy. I wonder if we have the thing we need for that. The Temple of Effort has been updated. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's a sliding puzzle. Uh, the Temple of Effort. A dead end, just a strange mosaic. It looks like the parts can be moved. Uh-oh. Oh boy, sliding puzzle. Okay. Actually, wait, is that another... Can we walk across the ring without an insta-teleporting us away? Hmm. So let's take a look at this puzzle. As you may have noticed during that wizard quest before, I'm not exactly the best with puzzles. Hmm. I wonder what kind of shape we need to make with this. I wonder if that book has some sort of clue about it. Okay, good. I, I was worried about being insta-teleported. Okay, prayer book. I might have to look this up, too. For with this notion the walls of our temple have been imperiled by the body of the river, may Efford's will and his mercy not only penetrate through the great seas, but also this body of water. And thus shall these holy scriptures find their use in praising the Lord of the seas, so that they shall bestow tranquility upon him. May he not punish land or village on the edge of the great river by letting the water burst its banks during this season of rain, but calm the river and moderate its waters. Okay. Hmm. 
There's nothing... No, it almost looks like there's... I guess there's nothing down here. Nope. Just mist. I was getting a little annoyed with the repetitive caverns we were fighting in. Which, I mean, admittedly, it happens a lot in video games. It's a trope. But just the bare, ugly brown walls are they're just kind of dull for me. Okay, let's see what kind of shape we can make out of this. Hmm, I want to check something. This die is as long as a span. Its top is decorated with small symbols of effort, the god of seas and river, as well as something that looks like part of the corner of a larger image or a mosaic. It's probably designed to be inserted somewhere. Well, can I... Okay, good lord, that took a long time. But I think we have it all now. There we go. And that cube I was looking at before was actually something we got from the treasure hoard of a dragon that we killed earlier on in the game, that thing that I read. So we are able to venture forward, thankfully, after that incredibly obnoxious puzzle that took... I don't even I don't even want to tell you how long it took. It took a while. I, I, I managed to do it without looking it up. But just barely. I was seconds away from from looking it up. Uh okay, there's another journey entry across from here. Maybe there is no big bad at the bottom of this. Maybe it's just like we restore harmony to the temple or something. Although there is a warning here, so that seems unlikely. Steer your steps away from here if Efford has not yet granted you the consecration. What takes place in this chamber is not yet for your ears to hear nor your eyes to see. Do not see this as a groundless instruction, but more as a warning if you value your body and life. The will of Lord of the Tides commands you to comply. Every white cap and every wave contains his glance, and he will not stray from you. Turn back and he will gaze kindly upon you. Take one more step and call his wrath down upon yourself. Apparently another person continued writing from here. Greylings, Tabitha is not the first of those who wished to gain entrance to the chamber and got caught. However, we hope that she was the last, and we are warning you for the last time, stay away from the chamber, for what is contained therein is beyond your understanding of effort and his ways. So I think there was really, really setting something up here for, for us to discover. Maybe Effort is some sort of Lovecraftian water demon, or I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen, but I hope we're going to find out. Ooh, ooh. Treasure. I like treasure. And just a few slugs around here to fight. I have to zoom back out again, because I zoomed really close in to do that kind of slug puzzle. It really kind of felt like they were just extending the, uh, the length of time that you spend in the game. Like with the herb gathering, they just, you know, instead of just gathering money, getting money, and buying potions, we have to go through this rigmarole with the uh, first... Oh man, I didn't have my physical protection on. I didn't even notice that. I got shredded pretty quickly with no uh, physical protection. I better check to see if these guys can get some more courage, charm, agility, constitution. Yeah, it would just give me one point towards the max, as far as I understand it. They're pretty stingy with the amount of uh, ooh, more two-handed swords. I'll get that with the amount of uh, health you can get. Okay. What do you want? want? On my way! I was smack talking Kano a lot, but I never do that when he's unlocking the treasure chests. That's that's kind of the lot of the rogue. You maybe we'll dislike the lot, but when you're opening that treasure chest. Ooh. It's uh, Constitution plus two? Or, uh, ooh, that's neat. What do you have? Amulet of Courage. Courage plus one. He already has Constitution yes. plus two. Human nature plus three. This is more important. It's 
staying alive is more important. I don't think mm -hmm. we're. I, I assume we're not going to be persuading anyone down here. The gods are usually beyond mortal persuasion. If this is some sort of temple to, uh, you know, I mean, maybe maybe effort is like a Lovecraftian evil deity, and the River Father is a nice water deity. I don't know what's going to happen. I better summon a bear just to. Well, we don't absolutely need him right now, but since mana regenerates, we can the animals will grab him. Even though he's dead, he still shows him taking damage from bleeding. More treasure in a big watery pit. That looks a little bit nice. To a boss, and you don't know exactly where it's going to be. Ready on call, on so you don't know where it is that you should put all of your protective magics on and all of your items. Maybe they're trying to get you to use them only in combat and not Surfer. buff up before the battle. But ooh, sun sphere, probably extremely expensive. Trident, ooh, okay. High Lord's mask. Highlord's Mask hide the, hides the wearer's face and creates a mysterious aura of superiority and beauty. Hmm, that's interesting. It's probably useful for uh, persuasions when we get out of here. But uh, there's no exact um, place, you know, where you'd say, okay, this is where I can use all of this stuff so I won't run out before I reach the boss. Because I tried to use that before, and uh, when I fought, I didn't fight the dragon on camera. Sorry, that uh, that I did off camera a while ago. Um, oh, here we go. The final boss is a crab? Mm. A crab? Mr. Crabs? Meets my axe! Okay. Attack! Uh, hmm. Move as lightning. Let's see if we can get these guys to move fast. Mr. Crab doesn't look happy. <laughs> Oh, the Luda's lightning spell only lasts 20 seconds. Like, great level. So, I, well, he has a lot of life, doesn't he? I kind of wish I'd invested in some kind of... Oh, come on, what does he spawn? Giant crabs? Where are these other crabs coming from? We're going to have to finish these, these guys off first. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm reloading because we just saved, and now I know where we can do our upgrades and everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna go a little bit down here, and hey. now I'm going to use wound powder. Hey. On these guys, and I'm going to do. Attributio Constitution on him. On you. Okay. And I want you to both take some lozenges. And okay, here we go. The lozenges do not last very long, so we gotta hurry. We can't just use them any other time. They're already practically wearing off. Okay. Now, does he spawn these crabs, or are they just... Are they somewhere else in the arena that I just didn't notice them? Okay, try, I don't know, proceed. Try to make yourself useful. 
I'm move as fast as lightning. It's only five seconds. Lord. If he keeps spawning crabs, I'm gonna know they, they, they show up from over there. Maybe if he reaches a certain point of health, he. Oh boy, we really need to. We need to take out these crabs. I I think. I'm not sure if we should try to kill the crabs now and get, rid of them, get them out of the way so they don't bother us during the big fight, or if he's just going to keep spawning them as we take that fight. Yes? Uh, yes? Ready. Attack formation! Ready on call. Right on! This guy looks more like a lobster than a crab with that tail. Okay, uh, use some potions. Okay. Now go back to Hammer Strike. boss. If this, is, if this is indeed the boss, I mean, I, I don't really know. Can you imagine you spent all of your life dedicated to the what you do you went want? to seminary school, you, you put your yes. personal reputation on the line to vouch for this god yes. that you wanted people to believe was good and right and just, and it turned out to just be like a giant crab guy living in the basement of a an island. That would be hilarious. Uh, I wonder what he did a lightning on. My angel beard! Uh, yes? Yes. Yeah. Precision strike is doing anything of value. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're already fighting a boss. I mean, this is like Dark Souls 2 level nonsense where it's like, hey, you want a boss? We're gonna throw in some trash enemies to annoy you during the boss. I don't like that. But I guess I kind of like the look of this crab lobster. I mean, it's like a lobster. It's hard to do with calling him a crab. Garoshem meets my axe! What do you want? Right on! Seem to take a decent amount of damage there yeah. from something, either a mighty blow or a yeah. Yes? And that Star Caller thing. Oh, Good bit of damage. I don't know what a yeah. karma point is. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, I do not know what that is in reference to. I I know, I'm like, yeah. Far into this game, I beat the last game. I don't even remember what that yeah. means. Carbon point? Oh no. Oh, there are no just... There's just more food. That's not a big problem. Hopefully, my god. Uh. Uh. Yeah, you go fight them while you focus on the attack crab. formation. Ready on call. And Aha. hopefully, my bear will be able Oh boy. With them poisoning us in the middle of battle, they're not, I, I just realized that even though they're not a huge threat, poisoning us in the middle of battle would be really serious. Here. Yeah, you, you keep him busy. What do you want? Bring him! Okay. These guys. Well, I'm poisoned. That's not good. Oh, sure. No, my. Uh, my rogue went down. Okay. Try to. Okay. 
Use a health potion. Quick roll. Thank you. And For the Emperor! Strike. Actually, where's my cure poison spell? Clarum Purim. That's the cure poison spell. Yes, it is. And rendering you temporarily immune to poison. That I, that I forgot. I'm going to try to use that on myself here. I don't know if there's a way to revive this guy as he's dying now. I, I, I think there is not. So... Yes. Okay. Take some more lozenges. And I do have my poison immunity on now. Let's get another bowl of light thing. Oh, there's still one left. Yes. Try to. I don't think you use the hammer strike on that. Turn around and fight this guy. Oh, the crab. And you do that, you can fight the crab too. I mean, no, uh, the, uh, the uh, slug. He's taking a lot of damage. I'm going to give him these health potions. Hopefully, I can stay out of the line of the attack. Crab claws there. Uh, okay. Use. Use. And use our mana. It's about at half health, but we've 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 taken a lot of damage since then, so it's not so pretty. God, if one of these guys goes down, I don't think they're going to Not especially if there's not more Morphews or crap uh, I wish I could get the the dead guys, I mean, uh, the dying character's stuff here. Yes. You know, he has plenty of, um... juice, a weaker type of potion. See if I can heal my gear before he dies. Yes. And drink some dirt. Hammer strike. Maybe it's bad to do constant hammer strikes, I don't know. But I'm doing it. Yes. There's a more mana potion to get uh, getting a little dicey, even without more yeah. crabs or actually spawning. Yeah. What is that horrible thing over there? I'm going to get too distracted looking at it while I'm doing this, but I think, I mean, electricity seems to be doing okay in this thing, but the, the variable damage hey. that can be, um... Meet my axe! A little bit of that. I said I had 25, I had 24 earlier, and here I got, um, I'm gonna get their constitution score up again. Oh, no. oh god, crabs and morphia. Look at all these crabs! I don't think I can do this. Crap. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Good word. Okay, hammer strike. For the Emperor! No, not that guy. The hey! Because we can't uh, We 
just can't do all these things at the same time. Or we are going to very quickly die. Yeah. Yeah. Crab didn't even take a lot of damage. Look at this crab. This crab's a beast. There's like five or six of them. They were trashing us earlier. Just five or six crabs. They're just crushing us. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hammer blow. By beard. Crab. Mana so quickly. Take that mana portion, jeez. Good two, actually. Okay. More endurance potions. Yes. Hammer strike. Attack formation! Get your endurance back quickly, please. Oh my god, I'm nearly... My defense spell, Fastness of Body, ran out. I didn't even notice because I was paying attention to like a hundred other things. Um... He's poisoned. Okay! We don't have any more endurance potions. Crap. Try to take another one of these. Any of these crabs injured? So much damage suddenly. Yes. Uh, where is that poison cure spell? Oh yes. God! My big guy is almost dead. Yes. He's gone. And this battle is basically unwinnable at this point. I'm gonna have to reload. Uh, okay. Let's try it again. I don't really have a strategy here to defeat him other than to, um... Try to get his health down as quickly as possible before his extra little minions get summoned. Because without those minions getting there, it was getting a little bit close, but I feel like I was okay. I felt a little comfortable with my, uh, my chances. Still not absolutely certain, but... Meets my okay. I pledge obedience. What do you want? Haha! Blum 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 heavy arm will work on this guy. Yeah, I guess it is, technically. It's all slowing down a little bit. Okay, one crab is dead. By Angus's beard! Attack! And he's affected by lightning flying you at the very least. My bear is not doing so good. And the endurance of my hero guys is pretty poor. Ready on rogue. I really should try to keep him alive, even if he's not doing much of the yes. damage, just as a distraction. Plenty of mana potions, but that isn't what really you want. An issue. Bring them! Yes. Okay, just keep doing normal attacks, I guess, while I try to use lightning spells on them. At your orders! 
Attack formation! I wonder if there's some sort of penalty when there's a potion or a lozenge in the middle of combat. Like, do you have a, a penalty to have a whether yeah. you get a parry or something like yes. that? Hey! Ready on call! This star star thing I've never even used before. It says it's like a miracle for the god Vex, the god of Thieves. But it did a ton of damage. Or I, I think it did. Some, it's, I would have to look at the message log to say, Oh no, no, that was the Hail of Stars. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should worry more about this guy keeping him alive. Yes. Because he's taking... Yes. Taking a ton of damage from electricity attacks. I'm to take two... Yes. Because I do not have any large mana potions, which was a mistake. I probably should have tried to get them, but again, it's a whole big process. It's not just, they're not just shopping and uh, yes. going through this whole big issue. I don't even know how many kinds of karma I have, or how many times I can do this. Because ideally, I would be able to do this over and over again, because this is really powerful against this craggy boy. Okay, and here come the Morphos. Uh, it seems I can direct the bear to move, but I can't direct him to... Yes? ...attack something directly. Control the Emperor strikes. We will try to do battle with the Morpho. He's gonna do Actually, yes. you know what? You should go fight the Morpho. Hmm? I'm going! Going! going. Making haste! Maybe we can get him to chase my own little bit now. Finally! This way? Yes? Garoshen. Kill these guys quickly. It seems you've already killed two, which is nice. Attack! Oh, God, he's poisoned though. Okay, take a one berry juice, and you. No, not Resendere. Uh, where is my? Oh, that's right. I didn't put it out yet. Uh, here is my. Your poison ability. Hopefully, what do you want? Work. I'm going. I'm going. I shouldn't Haunted be surprised go. about this because one of the like the Back first boss forth. battle in the game, we fight way. this giant golem mm -hmm. like right at the start, who seems very, very difficult, if not impossible for you to kill yes. under normal circumstances. All you have to actually do with that is just um, allow him to chase you around. Basically, like all, all you really have to do is ready on call. He's really, really slow, go. and if he's chasing one of your characters, I'm going, you're going, going attack it that way. freely for a while. Ooh. Almost forgot about my fastness of body. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going, going, I'm going, going. going. already there. This chase, 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 that way. This is not Making the way to battle, but it is a way. Okay, uh, so we are good. Yes. To continue, I'm going to, uh, you know, I think you don't attack my axe. And you take a couple of mana At your orders. What do you want? This way? On oh. tempto. This way? Now take some more one berry juice. In fact, I'm going to give you a bunch more. Uh. Oh god, there's still one alive? Oh, for goodness sakes. Uh, yes? Take that one more juice. Okay, then use your star scatter ability. Which I never even... I didn't even know he had these spell abilities. I didn't even bother looking at him. I was just looking at him, you know. He's, I mean, he's a thief. He's opening the locks and traps. That's what he's doing. Ready on call! Okay, don't get too close to the crab guy. He's very yes. dangerous. Okay, hammer strike. Holy Emperor! Not yet. Okay, so we finally killed the Morphew. Should get our bear back. <laughs> that sounded dirty, I don't know what I'm uh, We should get the bear to return. Uh, Constitution, what's
Let's see if we can weaken him with lightning find you and plumb bum bong heavy arm. A lot of the, uh, the spell names have uh, this sort of sing-songy, fairy taleish quality to them. Which I just think is a bit silly, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Trying to use that. Oh, why, why do you have so many and he doesn't have that many? Yes. Use hammer stuff. What do you want? Star scatter. And he has both of the debuffs we have going. Good. Going to culminatio all of lightning him. Ready on call. Zero zero. Something to do damage. At your orders. Is that the? No, the Hail of Stars did plenty. It must have been someone's physical attack. Yes. Hammer strike. Yes. Take some lozenges. Try to use Balm of Healing. Or can I? Oh no, I'm out of mana. That's why I can't use it. Yes, attack the bear. That's for the best. Uh, you also take those yes. lozenges. You try to heal up our friend. Uh, and I'm going to save the power strikes now. The hammer blows out for a little bit. Because I know the, the third wave of trashing, I mean, they're not trash enemies, exactly. those, those, those crabs are very serious business. Yes? Okay, Star Scatter. I hope there's no other boss beyond this, I hope this is not another boss. So, I if a, like if I get my dexterity up or something, I can cast... Because it just takes, it seems to take so long to do. Okay, Pastels of Endurance, Wound Powder, Wound Powder is all still going strong. It seems like it's going to last most of the battle. 62. Let's see if I can get that Constitution thing back. Mm -hmm. Star Scatter. Back, and we are under attack again by crabs. Okay, um, attack! Okay, hammer strike those crabs. I pledge obedience. Yes, let's go. Find a way for a On so you oh. Whew. A mage, definitely, you need to come back. Actually, what do you want? Ooh, I can't back and forth. my melee guys while they're doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah, fight fight the bear. That's fine. Right on! Ooh, mm, actually, yes. use some help. Hey! Ugh, it doesn't look like they did much damage, even with their power strikes against Rah! these crabs. Good Ready. lord. Attack formation! Okay. I should get his uh, debuffs back on. Lightning finds you. Plum bum 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 yes. heavy arm, mm -hmm. or whatever it's called. What is this star scale here? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, not bad. What does he have? He has plump, he has lightning find you. Ready on And use more Ready. health. Jeez, these guys haven't finished off one crab yet? They're the strongest crabs on earth. Use some endurance. What do you want? Uh, star scatter on this morphine. Uh, 
Ooh, we gotta run away. We can't be attacking the mage. Ooh, yes, follow me. Follow me, Mr. Crab. There you go. Ready on call. Why have my okay, I do have my defense spell up at least. Okay. Uh, okay, jeez. My anger is good. Oh no, he's poisoned. Attack! Darn. It's such a huge issue. For the Emperor! I wish it didn't have to be, but it is. What, what do you want? want? Follow me. Okay, I don't know. I hope I have enough time to cast Clurum Plurum. The fact that my mage killed. Okay, good. I just run, keep running. Run, run, run. Yes? Uh, use a health potion. Hey! Please try to hammer strike these guys. Oh my god. Crap, this guy's really in danger. Yeah. I was really relying on his lightning attacks. Yes, yes, good, good, good. And another one. They say discretion is the better part of valor, and we are exercising what discretion right now. Okay, both crabs are finally dead. Attack! Hammer strike. Attack! Yes. Keep uh, using your potions. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Uh. Oh no, he's poisoned now. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Yes. And keep using all overhead displays deactivated. No, there we go. What? No. No. Stop deactivating. How do I reactivate? Well, uh, no. Uh, yes? Yes. My anger is beard! There's so many of these. I pledge obedience! Okay, please try. Yes, yes. Okay, come on. Follow me, Mr. Krabs. Yes? So busy, I forgot about his his star star. So I've been trying to keep him alive this whole time. Stars. Okay, where is there any other non main uh. enemy attack? Okay, no. Not too sweeping. Attack. attack. Hey. What do you want? Ha ha! Attack. Run away. Okay, so we can get our bear back. Not mean to say that again. Attack! Only hope that there's no more interruptions by those horrible creatures. Yes. I'm assuming it's based on what level of health we've whittled you down to, but it's also possible that it's just. Uh, hmm. Uh. No. Wait. There we go, activate. Good. But it's also possible that it's just a timer. And, you know, it's DPS. You have to damage him with a, within a certain amount of time. Or yes. It's going to happen. Okay, actually, use some of your endurance okay. potions. 
I didn't want to try to get them to use the antidotes when they were poisoned because I worried about them stopping attacking. They had enough time, yes. basically, to get their, uh... Ready on call! If we were wasting time giving damage down yeah. this crap. He hasn't run out of karma points, whatever that means. Yeah. So I don't know exactly when or if that's going to happen. I need more mana. And get yeah, more mana. Maybe I just leveled this party up really badly, and that's why they're struggling so much with these fights. Uh, actually, let's debuff him again. Just, you might as well keep it top level. Mm, yes. No matter what you're doing, just in case. I did manage to find a sleep spell somewhere. But uh, maybe the elves it was? I, I, I may have forgotten to go back and check with the elvish spellcaster to see if she could teach me something. Okay, and keep going. What do you want? Star scatter seems to be a Uh oh. <gasps> Wait, I beg of you. Look at me now. Don't you recognize me? of this place and follow me to the eternal flame, my brother. What? Finally, you have found me. I have endured here in the darkness for an eternity. Alone with my rage and my despair, my hatred soaks every stone of this place. But I shall remain in the darkness no longer. It binds me no longer. I am free. May you find peace now, my brother. Thank you. I am deeper in your debt than I will ever be able to repay. I don't understand. Y yeah, why is your brother a crab? Why are you calling this monster your brother? What just happened? I know I owe you an explanation. This place was the object of my soul quest. The soul spark of my dead twin brothers was trapped here. Finally, he is free. I am sorry I couldn't tell you the entire truth, but the oath that binds me to the River Father also prevented me from becoming involved. I could only trust in your heroism. But you did get involved in the battle. Didn't that break your oath? Well, I did intervene, but to create peace, not to fight. But I could only free my brother's soul spark once you had contained the evil. I don't really know if I understand this. I don't know if the writers did either. Yes, all this must be very confusing for you. Ask your questions. You deserve the answers. What exactly happened with your brother? Narrow was my twin brother. As you may know, the bond between twins is very close among us and Roshim. It is almost as if we share a soul. We grew up in Toshmul, the place the humans know as Woodwatch. Side by side, we delved in the mines of Lur. We knew great happiness when we struck a new vein of ore. We drove the shaft ever deeper into the mountain until, for the first time in our lives, we came into disagreement. Narog warned caution, but I urged him to dig ever deeper. One day, Narog suddenly noticed small fragments of stone falling from the roof of the shaft. 
as quick as a flash, he pushed me into a side tunnel. But then the mountain came down on him. Half the tunnel had caved in. I borrowed frantically with bare hands and bleeding fingers. But all I found was his lifeless body. His soul spark had already departed, but I knew it had not been extinguished completely. As long as I also lived, it would wander without finding peace. From that day, I knew only one goal, to guide my brother's soul spark home to Angrosh. I need more answers. Yes, all this must be very confusing for you. Okay, the other creature we just fought, was that your you brother or was he just a part of it? I cannot say. But since the days of the Great Flood, this place has been filled with the rage of effort. But your brother didn't die here, he died somewhere else? Why would he come here and start becoming a crab? My brother's soul spark and the anger of the old god may have transformed one of the crabs here into that monster. But that is just conjecture. So I'm glad that you intervened when you did. To be fair, I think we had him. I think we would have killed no, him. No, no. All thanks must go to you. Yeah, it must. And I deeply regret that I could not tell you the entire truth. Yes, all this must be Can very Can you tell me about your soul voice? voice? Yes, I will tell you my tale. You know me as the voice of the River Father. But before that, I followed my calling as a geode and served Sumo, the Great Mother. I lost my brother before we could take the baptism of fire together. The bond between us was therefore so strong that I barely survived the loss. So I placed myself under the care of a Shepherd of Souls. Shepherd of Souls is the name we Angroshim give to a geode. Even more than the art of magic, I learned to understand the pain surrounding my brother. And it was to him that I dedicated my decision to care for all of Sumu's creation. All Geos share the fate of having lost a twin brother. And we all know that the soul spark of our dead twin is not lost, but wanders Ethra without rest. To find and guide that soul back to Angrosh's eternal flame is the burning desire of every shepherd of souls. We call this goal the Soul Quest. Eventually, I was able to track Narok's soul to this temple. But Ever's rage had trapped him here. It seemed impossible to reach Narok. I despaired, but then the River Father began to speak to me. He promised to help me to get into the temple if I would spread his word along the banks of the Great River. Several divine cycles had passed since then, but he kept his promise, as you can see. And I have learned to value his wisdom. After all, he is one of the oldest of Sumu's children. Yes, all this must be uh, very why, why did he come here? You? Ask your questions. You deserve the answers. What will happen to the temple now? Effort rage still fills the temple. This place will remain a threat until the dispute between the Ocean God and the River Father abates. Therefore, I shall continue to watch over it, as the gods are not known to settle their quarrels particularly quickly. I expect to spend the rest of my life here, but I do not mind. I like it here. Yes, all this must uh, be very how confusing Kraken for you. Kraken Water Dragon Ask your questions. Temple. Without doubt, the temple's dire influence drew those vile creatures to the Great River. But it is strange that they also served as guardians of the key artifacts. It may be that Effort wanted the temple to be opened. Maybe it is the first step in a reconciliation with the River Father. But the ways of the gods are mysterious. Yes, all this uh, must well, be very Well, if our quest is finished here, it's probably time for us to continue your journey. Yes, your work here is done. But there is always a need for heroes along the banks of the Great River. May the River Father bless you and guide you in your future deeds. Here, take my cudgel as a reward. It may not look like much, but there is more to it than meets the eye, as with so many things in Sumo's creation. I'm taking it. I thank you for this precious gift. I will honor it always. Let us leave this place to its silence. Perhaps one day that silence will become peace. 
If you wish, I can lead you back out. As you wish, but take care. This place is still dangerous, and all kinds of dreadful perils may still lurk in its shadows. I wanted to see if he dropped anything. Ooh, ring of pa magical power and magic ring. Very Let's go. Nice. I thought we might be able that to way. carve this guy up or something and craft something from him. You know, because that's that's what you want to do when you're uh, to your enemies. You want to carve their flesh up and eat them, right? I mean, that's normal. Okay. Um, where? Did that go? Yes. Oh, he has them. Magic ring not identified. Ring of magic power. Ooh, culmination of all lightning plus five. That's really, really good. In fact, I'm gonna put that on right now. Even though my life ring I have to take off, so. But it's probably worth it. And I can't identify. It's a ring of life, basic. Okay, well that's that's good too. We can what sell it at least, or I guess we can give it to our rogue to keep Ready him alive a little bit longer. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. Um, this is Draken saying the River of Time. I've been having quite a fun experience playing this. Um, it's not an absolutely perfect game, just like Neverwinter Nights 2. I had a lot of problems with the combat and generally the aesthetic qualities of it. I don't find very interesting, but. Um, the River of Time has a good beginner D RPG campaign feel, you know, like your first seven or eight levels, even though I think we're like level ten at this point or so, that, that kind of felt like roughly where it would be, you know, your first couple of months of game before you go on to something bigger and grander than that. And I'm going to leave a link in the description uh, to this game uh, on Steam. It is only available on Steam, not GOG, unfortunately, as I mentioned before. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any contact or interest in the Drakensang games, or if you've played other Dark Eye games, the Realms of Arcania series, or if you know anything about the uh, tabletop RPG and what you thought of this experience. And, um, yeah, thank you very much, and have a good night. Though eternity lies before thee, thy work in the land of the living is not done. Return, brave ones. And watch more videos.